yes, we're on the Isle of Sipta in this gorgeous location on the map. It is incredibly safe. It is a peaceful place. There's no danger lurking anywhere. Uh, and we haven't crashed here in like a bunch of times. There are a few issues on the Isle of Sipta at the moment. Um, and this seems to be one of the places where crashes happen. Um, so yeah, we may find ourselves dying to the Red Mother a few times. Um, yeah, we're just going to lean into it. I thought it was just over there that crashed, but here we have like crashed maybe twice per stream so far, and this is the third day. Uh, I can live with that um, if it's just twice per stream, um, because I just really like it here. I think it's kind of cool that we got dragons right next to us, not only than the Red Mother uh, and a bunch of other friendos. Ooh. Um, so yeah, where are we up to? Let's have a little like recap. Is that a little bit, is it, is it like a touch too loud? Is the music a touch too loud? How do you feel chat? Maybe I just, maybe I just need to adjust it in my head, head balls, my headset, my ear balls. There you go. Um, so yeah, so we, last episode we traveled to get ourselves a horse, um, because we did find on the first day, we found ourselves a tier two, tier two bearer. Uh, which was great. We went and got ourselves a couple of horses. We got a bunch of materials on the way. And we came here because I knew I wanted to build here on the map. Because it was a fun place to build. I love this island. It's the Isle of Dawn. Here on Sipta, you have the whole map when you start the game. Uh, it's sunny. It's like there's tree frogs and like crickets. And it just sounds wonderful. Um, it's just really lovely and sunny and bright. Um, and I just really like it. It's my favourite place. So I haven't built here. I have built kind of up here before on the map. And, and we did a playthrough there. Like, you know, a bit of a playthrough at least. Um, oh, God. At least a year ago. Um, so, yeah. I wanted to build on this island. And I thought this would be kind of fun. Because there's a bunch of bosses around here. There's a Crested Lacerta boss over there. Which is a bit like a bit like a crocodile. We've got the Red Mother here. There's a Green Dragon boss uh, over there. Is that a baby or a boss? squirrel that's the boss that's the baby um i'm flying around i will not be flying around throughout the playthrough i just like to show you around with an aerial view at the beginning um yes yeah, so there's a little baby here we've killed a bunch of times there's a bunch of iron there's coal it's very handy there's loads of bugs so we've got a good access to ica there are birds and they're annoying so it's fun to kill them um, and i also thought at some point i would like to build up on these like big pillory things uh, or at the very least on, is it going to work? <laughs> at the very least on this big thing here and have this magnificent view. Um, I'm like testing my luck, pushing my luck here because we're probably going to end up with like a crash or something. So yeah, at some point I'm going to build something kind of cool and epic here. We might do it on stream. Um, I might do it off stream. I will wait and see how I feel or how much time I have because obviously we've got some big things coming soon. Um, so yeah, anyway, so we got the horsey. Let's come out of like creative and come out of God and Cloak. One of the reasons I like to start the stream on that is because while I'm like AFK, I don't want to be passively gaining XP. I just don't want to like level too quickly, right? I'd like to level by playing and fighting things and stuff and whatnot. Um, so yeah, we have this horse Stella who's at level eight. She's already got like 8,300 health and we killed a couple of world bosses already. We killed two world bosses last episode. Um, one of which was the bug. Oh, another bug boss. I didn't even mention. There's a bug. Um, where is it? Near the near the Lacerta. There's like a one of the big bug bosses. It's disgusting. Uh, we killed her and we killed a crested Lacerta boss on our way to the centre of the map. And look what we got. We got momentum, which happens to be uh, from a chest. On this map, you don't. There's no chests next to the bosses. Generally speaking, you have to go to either the tower in the center and look around the, cent the very center, right around the tower. There are like legendary chests around there, and also in vaults dotted around the map, which are dungeons here. In each of the vaults, there should be a legendary chest, at least one. Generally, I think it's just one legendary chest in each vault. Um, so you can do that, or just running there was kind of the easiest thing for us to do. And I wanted to go there anyway. Um, and the horses are kind of in that general area. This is where we got the horse from. Oh, so I was speaking. So yeah, we happen to get momentum, which happens to be like really the best weapon for your thrall, which is fantastic. Um, I would like to ideally not use this at all, save it for a fighter, um, and then put an advanced, uh, put a master weapon fitting on it when we learn, if we learn that uh, feat here on Sipta. 
um, which on the Exad Lounge you learn from doing the wall maker dungeon. I could put an advanced, uh, what I could, I could put like a damage kit on it or a, or a spiked weapon fitting on it. Um, on before the Age of War, I would just not worry about it. I would use it and then I would repair it when I got like legendary repair kits and then I could put a mod on it. Well, there's no repairs for legendaries on the Age of War. So if I use it, I can't mod it. So I have to balance out the, the pros and cons. Now, what I could do is I can use this very, very strong weapon on myself and I could respec for strength and I could go and kill some of the grey ones at the spawning pools or other uh, like these other like grey patches around the map. Um, there are very, very dangerous, hard hitting enemies around there and they drop very good weapons. And it's such a good way to jumpstart your early game to get weapons from them. They have been, it seems, buffed. <laughs> Uh, in the Age of War. I went to kill them um, on the way here to get to this place. Uh, we tried to kill them with just daggers, which I managed to do on my like previous playthrough of this map. And I was barely doing any damage to them. They don't take any bleed damage, but probably because all of their weapons do bleed. Um, and also I think they're kind of like undead type creatures. They're just certainly not human anyway. Um, although they're kind of humanoid-ish. Um, so yeah, so I would like to try that as a, as a method, really, given that we've gotten this amazingly hard-hitting mace. So if we respec for strength, because I currently have no points in strength, um, then I thought today we could go and see if we can get some good weapons from them. Seems like fun, right? Um, hello everybody. Um, I've been monologuing. How, how is it going? Um, hello Angel. Good evening, friendos. Uh, base. Yes, base, base, base. Okay, okay. Sure, I was a few behind. That's a good idea. Did they fix crashing? Swift, um, it, they are, it, it's still crashing. It is still crashing. So I, before starting this playthrough, I thought the crashes were just on console. I don't know why that, because I guess because none of the PC folks had mentioned it to me and I knew that there were some crashes, particularly on Xbox, but I didn't realize it was also on PC. Um, they did do a post uh, on Twitter and on the forums talking about it and addressing it and saying that it's hopefully going to come out in the next patch and they explained what you know why it was that it was taking so long um but i just happened to have started a playthrough now on sipta we're going to lean into it and we're going to see i guess how often we have any problems um and you know it is what it is right if, if my stream crash if my stream not if my stream if my game crashes twice per like session i can live with that um hopefully we don't lose all of our possessions and everything yes because i do have drop items on death switched on uh yep we have a sip of coffee so yeah let's go to the gray like to the gray ones and try and get some good weapons today um and hopefully we won't use the entire durability of this mace because i want to play it with an agility build hmm. Alrighty. so yes i have to make sure my horse doesn't get killed as well um horses have a lot of it of health in the age of war and Stella is, is already up to 8,300. She's got some vines, which will give her a boost in vitality as she levels up. Um, yes, I don't know why she's got these two showing. I think she must have had other things in her inventory or something, but this should give her a boost to vitality. Um, we, we have loads of vines on this island as well, this little like mini island, the Isle of Dawn. Uh, because it's kind of, I don't know how you'd say it, tropical or whatever. So what do we need? Let's let's get geared up for some fighting. Um, yes. So momentum, the only thing about momentum, it does weigh 15, which is not ideal. Um, now, because I'm in admin mode, I could just click reset attributes if I wanted to. But uh, we'll try and at least the first couple of times to go through the motions, we'll actually do it legitimately with a a potion of bestial memory so we need to make like an alchemical bench and alchemist bench and whatnot um hello Foster, how are you doing good to see you i assume the volume and everything is perfectly normal like usual right everything's good um so let's let's have a look at journey steps for alchemy while we're at it oh um yes let's do this one access or place a fireball cauldron okay so can I have I learnt the knowledge for it? Fireball cauldron. This guy here. We have learnt the knowledge. Perfect. Alright. Now what do I need? Alchemy. And it's this guy that we need most. So I do have some mods on the series. If you do exclamation mark mods Conan at any time in this in the chat, it'll show you the full list. Um 
Yeah. So if I press caps, um, then unlock plus one of the mods will pull all the ingredients into my inventory so I can craft items that I want to. You see, we, we really don't have a lot of space here um, at the moment. I really need like a bit more, some more foundations and things. Uh, I should put you here, my friend. There we go. Now, the potion of best your memory always used to be a recipe that you... So, there's a recipe you can learn on uh, the Exiled Lands by speaking to the wolf... Uh, what is he called? I don't know his name, actually. Uh, the werewolf uh, by the den, um, which gives you access to the Midnight Grove. Th that guy used to teach you the potion of best your memory, and you t used to have to learn the recipe. And when you played on Sipta, it was a complete pain in the butt, because you had to learn the recipe from going to vaults, and you had to get it... At by RNG as a recipe in the vaults and I could never get it I don't know what it was I did play a whole bunch on PlayStation before I moved to PC on this map and I never ever ever got the potion of best your memory recipe and it drove me crazy because I'm the kind of person that wants to respec twice a session wants to go harvesting and then back again to like da loads of damage so that I could go around and kick a load of butts um so yeah i hated it well now they've changed it thank goodness which really benefits the other sipter so now i should have the recipe yes just from placing this bench thank you funcom <laughs> i cannot tell you what a relief that is they also took away the need for ash i no longer need ash to make the potion i just need regular blood uh lotus and water filled glass flasks okay so let's see if we have any glass flasks that we may have picked up we've got a couple perfect excellent um and then all i need to do technically speaking so if i put um if i put an alchemist thrall into here then they'll have the recipe to fill the uh the glass flask with water otherwise i can just run up to some water and just click on the water i mean a lot of you will know all this stuff but i always like to go through all the motions um do i bring the horse <sighs> i'm gonna leave the horse here until we're like heading away from this place because I don't want to, like, I don't want to risk her getting hurt. She's, like, precious. Um, I just chuck some stuff away from me. Uh, we do have a couple of, of other horses. I know I'm putting, like, random things in random places. Get used to it. <laughs> um, I also have these rock nose uh, eggs that we bought from... Um, what's it called? The Camp of the Castaways up here. Up here is it's a bit like Buccaneer, a combination of Buccaneer Bay and Sepp and Maru because there are there are friendly um passive mobs they will not attack you unless you attack them you can't knock these ones out though uh last time I checked we didn't actually try this time um but yeah you can't knock them out and um uh yeah they're passive until you hit them but there are loads of there's a big market there and there's also a couple of dancers so if you want to clear your corruption and you haven't got a dancer yet or you haven't got any other means like cleansing brew or anything like that or armor to cleanse your corruption you can go to this island up here okay so we did buy some rock nose eggs with just a bit of gold um and we also turned in our scout reports because there's uh humans lying around on this map and in their inventory they have scout reports and if you take them to that uh, place you, there's a lady you can turn them into there you go and then she gives you gold in return. There you go. Okay, so let's get a bit of uh, water if we sneak around. I might um, I might do a bit of warming up and have a bit of a fight. Maybe we'll fight the little dragon, friendo. Just to get me in the mood for fighting. I'm not in creative. I'm not in God and Cloak. Perfect. And how's my armor? It's okay. It needs repairing before we do anything big. But let's fight this dragon. And the nice thing, every time I fight this dragon, it'll give me... Um, uh, leather, like cooked leather, dragon bones, um, etc, etc. And he's quite a slow fighter. So we should be able to always just fight him and not worry about dying. Just this very slow, like, head nudge attack. He's quite cute. Can you come over here, buddy? So yeah, I'm just going to kill him with my daggers. I have some points in agility, uh, but the bleed's going to do most of the work for me. So he's going to be a good source of XP, just general, like, I don't know, general good times, you know what I'm saying? After, after, we've, um, after we've been to, like, the grey ones, I think we're probably going to work on our sorcery levelling, because um, Sipta doesn't have any obelisks, and um, 
We really need to make sure we get a transportery stone as soon as possible. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum. So he should die from his injuries now. There we go. Perfect. Uh, let's use this because we might get dragon horns and we need those for sorcery. Perfect. Perfect. Over here are some accursed people, um, which, on, which are basically just Sumerians. So they're very tough. Uh, let me actually remember to get some water. Kill a bug as well. Get into the swing of things. Oh. Mods Conan. Mods Conan. Yep. Exclamation mark. Mods Conan. All one word. No spaces. Uh, we could also kill the bug boss as well. But I could do with two sets of daggers. Bum, ba -dum, bum. She takes a bit of a beating. I do want to really farm world bosses. So it is going to be in our favour. It, it, albeit a bit dangerous place to live uh, it's going to be in our favor to like to live here basically um i could use the pickaxe which i picked up from a box i'm just gonna need to hatch it we'll get a bit of ichor from them ba -da -dum, ba -dum. right let's fill our water so i'm just gonna click on these and now we have water filled glass flasks perfect we can respec into strength I would like to kill the boss as well. Should we do that, chat? Should we do that? Because then we could see what else we can get. And we need to, like, kill a couple of bosses at least every session, I would say. Um, is this where we live? Uh, I do have night time on super, super fast. But you can see the effect of the aura, uh, the light aura, on this map as well. That is, which is new to the Age of War. Wherever you walk, it gets a little bit lighter. So you can see your feet. But yeah, the moon will be flying across the sky. Because I have night time on super fast. Because I... It, oh, bloody hell. Here we go. Is this crash number one? So if this happens to you... Hello, Osiris. How you doing? So if this happens to you, um, I cannot do Control-Alt-Delete to get out of this. This is a rendering issue, apparently. I just have to wait until I get like a notification that the game has had a problem. And then I can click on that. Otherwise, I cannot do Control-Alt-Delete. It won't let me like shut the game down manually. Um, it's been, it may have just been me. I've found Sipta got much darker than the original map. Mm. I feel like the original map, there's a lot of places that are really, really dark. Thank you, graphic. There you go. Yep, yep. Um, yeah, this is a rendering issue. So the problem is, if we were in the middle of fighting the boss right here, <laughs> uh, like, the, like the Red Mother... I haven't actually... Normally, I, I do control alt delete Okay. I think I do need to do that, but... Okay. There we go. It is a pain in the butt. Let's restart the game. There we go. Pressing play, in case you wonder why there's a black screen on your page. Bum, ba da 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 Bum, bum. Dun, da 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 Oh, chat. Should I sing you a song while we wait? Sing us a song, Neff. Sing us like the Canadian National Anthem or something. Oh, I'll drink some coffee. Right. Launcher is up. Continue. Yes. What a pain in the butt. So the, the the crashing only seems to happen in this like area of the map where we happen to have set up. You don't want to hear the song I have on my mind. Is it I know a song that will get on your nerves? If it's an, is it, if it's a, a TOS, then don't sing it. It's TOS violating. Oh, yo, yo. <laughs> oh, yo, yo. Is your mug nearly with you? Is it on its way now? I did. I was having a look earlier and I forgot to see when like how far your thing was. The, the merch if anyone wants to get any merch we do have conan merch um not it doesn't say conan on it because i i don't have the ip for that um it's still on its way it's likely on a ship yeah if anybody's interested in some merch which we did launch just like a week ago there's the collection there if you want to have a look at it there's a couple of conan related things but yes, I can't write the words Conan Exiles on something because I'll, I'll get sued or something. <laughs> Probably. Bum, ba, da, da, dum. Bum, bum. Just starts having, just have like a little black market thing. It's a bawdy medieval drinking song, is it? Oh, yo, yo. Look how where we are. 
Interesting. Yeah, we do always lose a little bit of time when this happens. So what happened? Did I I did fill the I did fill the water flasks. I'm like in some kind of strange parallel universe where something's never happened. Okay, let's go respec. <laughs> yeah, I'm pulling the water bottle. Are you? Ah. Thank you so much to everyone who's bought merch so far. I really appreciate it. It makes a big difference. I don't think people think that uh, streamers are all rich, but um, there are like a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of people who are. Do you know what I'm saying? Anyway, um, now we've got our, our little thingies sorted. Okay, potion of best to remember me. Now we need yellow lotus and blood. We haven't squished. Oh, do I not have any yellow? Of course I do. I pick up everything. Um, now, we haven't made a fluid press to get the blood. Um, if I clicked, so if I click on this like little arrow, um, it will it will pull in from any of the surrounding boxes any blood, but we don't have any. So we need to make a fluid press. Let's do that. Um, let me just, oh my God, it's happening again. Oh, yo, 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 yo. They can't see you if you put Conanigans intensify kit. That's such a good idea. Oh, God, chat. Are we going to have to move? We might have to move. Oh, God. This is like the second time in the space of five minutes. Oh, balls. It's literally in this exact spot where the problem is, isn't it? They did, um, they did, re they did remove decay times for, um, uh, uh, for people on servers, on official servers, because people weren't able to play. God damn it. We're going to have to move, aren't we? I can't do anything right now. Yep. I keep clicking send report to Funcom as well. It's my own fault, isn't it, really? I mean, you know, moving would be best. Yeah. Bugger. I really wanted to build here. I mean, I guess we could build here when they do the update. Um, God, is this going to be like a moving stream then today? Is this one of the reasons why Sipta has bad reviews? Um, I don't... Honestly, I don't know why Sipta would have bad reviews. I think Sipta is freaking wonderful. Like, genuinely. Um... Kind of why you got to be like this. She's trying to do stuff. I know. I know. Takes a deep breath in residency. You never know. Behave yourself. God. Oh, balls. Balls, balls, balls. That's so annoying. I really want to live here. I like love that there's loads of bosses right around us. Yeah. We could move just slightly further away. I think it's literally this exact spot. Um... Which I didn't, honestly, I didn't realise when I chose it. I wasn't, I wasn't like, oh, let's choose the spot that causes you to crash those times. I just happened to have realised it. Ball, balls are in the sock. Oh, I'm obviously singing about tennis balls, obviously. When I'm um, talking about tennis balls when I say balls, obviously. Do you know what I mean? Citrus lovely and so full. Yeah, negative Nellies. I ignore the negative Nelly outlook and get with my life. Yeah, Citrus is very fun, definitely. Yeah, especially now that there's sorcery and you can make teleportry stones, then I think it's now like a long-term fun thing to do. I think before that, it became a bit of a pain in the butt to kind of like um, travel around and stuff, you know? Um, yeah, it is wonderful, honestly. It is super fun. There's like loads of other like gameplay mechanics and things like that. Um, <sighs> balls, right? Can I just respec, please, game? If I don't like look around too much, <laughs> if I don't have a problem problem with rendering, how do I make the squishy thing? Um, hopefully I can. Ba -da -dum, ba -dum. Brewer, right? Brewer is unlocked. Ba -da 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 -da. We'll do what we can, and we'll we'll plan to move. Put berries in a fluid press. Okay. We don't need to do all this now. We'll still track the alchemy thing. Um, I don't need to worry about spending points. We're about to do the thing. I'm just going to try and not look around. <laughs> just, like, don't look it in the eye and it won't crash, chat. Um, here we go. 
Do I have enough shaped wood? No, I don't. Okay. Um, shaped wood. Just look at the floor, chat. Everybody look at the floor. <laughs> um, do I have any wood left? No, I don't have any wood. Let's go get some wood. Shall I take the horsey? Yes. The horse is going to get killed, isn't he? Let's go get some wood. We'll use the pickaxe. Like, we're creeping around even more this time, because if I aggro people and the game crashes, we could just, like, re like get back in and the game is, like, everything is gone. Oh, it just adds a bit of extra peril and excitement, doesn't it? I fight this Boyd. Yes, maybe even if we just, like, move to the other side of the... Like, just over there or something. You know what I mean? I just like it here. If we do move, I suggest what we do is we move closer to an NPC camp. Because, like, a better NPC camp. One with more people. Because if we're going to do sorcery, we're going to need, like, a very frequent spawning of humans. Yeah. Bugger. I really wanted to live here. We could live in the middle of here, like, here or something. Hmm. Any suggestions for the Isle of Dawn, where we could live? We, we've already lived on that kind of, like gorgeous race platform with like the puddles and stuff and the what are they called komodos i don't necessarily want to live there again um i particularly don't i like to have i like to move every time i do a playthrough really kind of. try not to aggro people fortunately i'm specced for encumbrance I'll give you this my dude best carry friendo Um, what's my aloe situation like? Uh, it's okay. Love this um, this place because there's so much aloe around as well. It's great. My aloe habits. Let's go over here and get some more wood. Yeah, maybe like we just move over there or something. Or on this like rock. Not quite as fun. We also need some of this... Yellow Lotus for respects. Bum, bum, ba -da -dum. Do, 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 Hello, Kevin. How are you doing? Um, hello, Thriller. There's a fun magic waterfall. I installed an elevator on the right waterfall and it teleported people in space. Is it? Okay, definitely got enough wood. Get back. Wait, I can give you these vines, little dude. Do do. Yeah, we're not spec to do very much damage at all. We barely have any points in even agility, which is what we're using for the daggers. Oh, we better repair our daggers anyway, though. Oh God, please no more crushes. While we get this sorted, just want to get the respec done at the very least. Um, if we are going to move, we might be better off doing it, um, respecking for, like, encumbrance, really. Or just sticking with our encumbrance and moving everything. Do you know what I mean? Maybe that's better. Okay, let's climb up. If we if we crash again before we get out, we'll respec like uh, we'll move immediate. Yeah, yeah, we'll move immediately. This is we can't do this. Balls. Oh god, this is the worst it's been. 
Pugger, pugger, pugger. Pugger, pugger, pugger. Yeah, we'll move immediately. Oh, chat. Where do we go, though? That's the question. Hmm. Oh, this is going to turn into, like, moving stream. The, the the kind of the worst thing about this is I can't even close the game with Task Manager. Like, Task Manager is there, but I can't get to it. Everyone has no issue if we replace the base somewhere else with Creative. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure. There it is. A little pop-up has happened. Oh, dear. Okay, well, we'll move because we're, you know, we know there's an issue here. So staying here is really like, you know, it's my own fault if it keeps crashing, isn't it? You know, this happens when I look in a specific direction. So I just, I, that's what I was trying to do, bravo. Yeah, that's what I was doing. It is maddening, yeah. It's annoying. I do feel for them, though, you know, when they have these issues. Let's click continue. Because, you know, they've got to, like, make the game, this, like, very complex game work on so many different, like, systems and... Oh, yes, but there you go. There you go. Yes, next patch, hopefully. this That's when they're hoping it's to be fixed. Let me, let me drink some coffee. I need some caffeine for this. Yeah, it seems to me when I look towards the Isle of uh, Dusk, basically. When I flew to the Isle of Dusk before um, it started, before I started this playthrough, um, uh, that's when my game crashed. And I was on like, it went down to like one FPS, two FPS. I was like, oh, like, what is, what is this? Um, so I thought we'd be all right near it, but not on it. bugger okay i think we might move things in creative so that i can just freaking just go because the game's just continuing to crash so we'll we'll just pick everything up um and we'll just place everything down um somewhere else we'll just kind of fly fly relocate <clears throat> fly locate or something oh i'm here yeah God, what if I can't even get my stuff? That's the thing. What if I can't even get my stuff? Like, without crashing. This is, like, it was nowhere near this bad. Um, before. Right, where's my little hammer friendo? Okay. Let's take all the things. I'm going to take a screenshot so I know what we had. Carpenter's bench, tanner's bench, uh, thrall pot, uh, saddler, tinker, blacksmith, alchemical bench, uh, alchemist bench, and um, what is it? Armorer's bench. Did I just delete the oh, treasure? Doesn't really matter. I don't have enough space. Not enough space. Really? Okay, it doesn't none of this matters. Maybe the bill up stuff. Anything in there? Seeds. Hmm. Let's just get the hell out of here. Emergency relocation. Let's take the horse. Okay, I don't see anything that I need. It's like one of those horror movies. Just don't look in the direction of the monster and he won't, he won't attack you. Uh, too many items, yeah, too many items. Right, where do we want to live, friendos? Should we just live on here? Is this, as, is this as far enough? What do you think? There's an NPC camp there. Should we try it? There are lions here. What do we got? 
We've got like this little bridge going across. What do you think? Is this far enough? I escaped! Should we live here? Then we're right by the bosses. The thing is, if we farm those bosses, we're just going to keep freaking like crashing, aren't we? When we go over to them. I don't want to I don't want to move too far, though. So should we live? Should we just live here? Is this far enough? Let's try, shall we? Let's just put down what we had before. Well, do you know what? If nothing else, we'll science it. We'll find out soon enough if um, if this is far away enough, right? I guess we're looking into the problem. Okay. Right, crafting stations. We had a blacksmith bench. Blacksmith bench. We had an armorer's bench. We had a tinkerer's bench. Tinker, 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 tinker. Tinkerer's bench. What else did we have? We had a thrall pot. Companions. We had a thrall pot. Someone's going to come in and go, Oh my god, you're cheating! And I'm going to get really irritated. <laughs> no, I won't. I won't. I'm beyond all that. <laughs> we had two furnaces. Right? Yes, two furnaces. Um, alchemist bench. Just like a memory test for me. Alchemist bench. Um, we didn't make the fluid press yet. What else did I? What am I forgetting? I got a, we had a basic tanner's bench. Um, we didn't do a tanner's table, I don't think. I think we did, but I, did I remove it? We had a simple carpet, like basic carpenter's bench. Bum, 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 bum. And I had just, yeah, did the alchemist thingy. I had like a very simple little uh, campfire, which I can just place normally. Is that it? That's it, isn't it, right? I think so. There were a couple of little crappy boxes. Yeah, we'll try it. We'll see, chat, if it was a basic boxes. If if we if it crashes here, we'll move further away. And then we'll know, right? Whenever I I am not in God and Cloak. <laughs> um they're gonna come and attack me. Dum 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 the animals in the way we'll just make sure that we're not over encumbered and then we'll fight those lions yeah i really i just want to be like right here on the map i mean i'd rather be exactly where we were because it was kind of fun um plant fiber can go in the in here um i'm so terrified like so paranoid about it crashing again we, we collected some steel from enemies Got some bits and some bobs. Ica can go in the alchemist bench. I'm going to build something here in creative anyway, so, you know. Um, what do I put? Resin. Demon blood. Heads, because we're going to squish those. Oh, we got a kitty cat. You can go in the alchemist bench because you're pure evil. <laughs> Kitty's like, mm -hmm. I beg your pardon. I very beg your pardon. Then we've got clothing. Where do I put you? Let's put you on the tinker's bench. Got some golem parts. Ba -da -dum, ba -dum. Do -do 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 -do. Da dum bum. Da -da -dum. Just dumping stuff now as I get bored. Uh, we want to keep the meat because we want that for alk uh, for sorcery. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, well, at least we didn't waste too much time doing this because we did it in like in creative or whatever. 
But yeah, now we know, like, do not, just do not go to that area, really, or, you know, expect to lose stuff. Um, it is a new issue. I don't know what was, like, what caused it. Um, we picked this up from a camp. We also got a soul spiel shield. I was beginning to tell you earlier. We got a soul spiel, soul spiel which is completely useless on the other sip because there's nowhere really that cold. The centre of the map is a bit cold, um, but it's not really that cold. Um, I feel like they keep seeing me and realising they can't path to me. Oh, I'm still in creative, right. And I'm in God and Cloak. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <sighs> Are we ready to leave God and Cloak? Should we respec first? Um, I wanted to go through the motions and do it properly. If I try and fight these guys with no points in anything, it's going to hurt. <laughs> Can they get up here? Probably. Mm, no, they can't get up here. So we're just going to have a very dramatic... Should we, should we see what happens? Let's place him here. Ha ha! Screw you all! One of them just doesn't isn't bothered. So if we can respec... I love this! <laughs> I wanted, like, danger. Okay, yeah, they, they got bored. Hello, Cortez. Hello, lovely. Uh, you're actually you're fixing an issue that's causing crashes. Yeah, exactly. Stuff anyone who says, yeah, that's true. Um, uh, evil lice killer. Goodness. Um, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Okay, so now we've relocated. Um, don't mind the cats nearby. They're incredibly friendly. They just want to give us cuddles. Um, let's do... Um, let's, tr let's try and make... We did get a bunch of wood from our little thingy. Let's try and make a fluid press. Uh, we still spec for like encumbrance, so we should be okay. Um, crafting stations, alchemy, fluid press. Ah, I need to make shaped wood. Okay. It's just very dramatic. If they accidentally jump up here, I will be, I will laugh a lot, and then I will also be very scared. Yes. I mean, there probably will be, like, baby t baby lions that spawn up here as well, actually. Bum, ba -dum. It just seems to be, like, the right kind of size for um for a bit of a base. Yeah, it's very cosy. Exactly. Um, the music's just going to be, like, going on and off, isn't it? Scuffed stream today, chat. <sighs> right, let's place our little campfire down as well. So we can make snackies when we want to. Um, what am I going to do with these rock nose friendos? Let's put them in here. Okay. Okay. Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum. Put the fangs in here. Probably going to turn those into bone meal though. Okay, so let's see if we can make our fluid press now. Probably not from here because it's crafting. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so fluid press can go here next to the alchemist bench. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. And then we want to make some blood. Um, wait, so that's that is not because of creative. This is because of unlock plus, by the way. Um, if you have unlock plus, you can see all the different ingredient like recipes that will give you these ingredients. Um, it's very good. Um, I kind of, I always want to turn it off, to be honest, um, like at the beginning of the game. Um, any, like, what do I want to squish? I can use human flesh to make blood. That's probably one of the best sources. There we go. Okay. And then we want to make the potion of best your memory. There's our water-filled flasks. Yellow lotus. And it won't pull from this because it's crafting at the moment. Do, 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 do. There we go. Let's make a potion of Buster Memory and we've got to drink it straight away because it only has a minute 55 on it. Or like two minutes or whatever. So we're going to respec. Can I just turn the music off for a moment? Because it's going to be just the drama. There you go. Ah. <laughs> and all the danger music. Yes. Um, come back and see something move around your base. It's a lion. Yes, indeedy. 
Okay, so what do I want to respec as? I want strength. So let's put some points into strength because we've got this momentum. Um, we're going to put a bit in vitality. I don't know about grit. Maybe grit because we're using a strength weapon. Um, nothing in authority immediately. I'm just going to solo some grey ones. 20% uh, 20, 20 more damage. Um, nothing in, in authority. A bit in expertise. And the rest in strength, I guess. I got my passive regen here. There we go. So this should this should kind of get us through some grey ones fighting. Um, if we die, we die. We're going to put down a bedroll nearby. Um, I also should make a, a bed and place the bed here. Um, because then I will be able to, like, choose between uh, returning here or returning to my exact, like, death location. Um, so let's make a... Oh, let's make an artisan bench. Um, decoration, decoration. So furniture maker. Um, is, there a, is there a journey I need to track? Oh, it kind of drives you crazy eventually, doesn't it? Mm. Is there... I bet there is something. No? I feel like decorating. Artificer. Hmm. Tinkerer. No. I guess we'll just... It doesn't matter. So let's try and make ourselves an artisan bench. So in carpentry. I can choose any of these. Uh, because you just have more choices of appearances of Artisan Bench if you've got different DLCs. Um, let's go for the Nemedian one, shall we? Okay, let's pop you down here. Usually I don't use one of these, because when I decorate, I tend to do it in creative mode, so I don't tend to use it very often. So we want to make ourselves a bed. Ooh, ah, yes. Let's use this bed. Do I have any gossamer? At all? Because I need silk. This is, um, this is, was given to me by Funcom. There's a couple of new items in the bazaar. Um, there's the Aquilonian King's Quarters set, which is a bed, um, an outfit. Not sure about that. Um, a chaise long, um, and a little, like, side table. Um, and there's also, like, a, a brazier and a carpet that goes with it. So, yeah, that was given to me by Funcom. Also, the shackles have arrived. <laughs> we now have the shackles. There's like a bed and a shackle. I did try this and it worked. You can just click on that and it will put you in it. Uh, we'll try that out in a minute. Like once we... Let's just go do the grey one stuff and then we can try this stuff out. Um, I also... I bought myself the maze set because the maze set is back. It was like a thousand coins or something which I had in my inventory. Um, all right. So I want to make the bed. We did kill a couple of spiders, but probably... Maybe I just didn't collect any... Gossamer. Okay, shall we deal with the locals, chat? Um, let's deal with the locals. Now, we could use our bow and arrows. We could use our daggers. Let's use this lovely momentum. Let's get some heals ready, shall we? Um, I do have a random, like, HP potion. Let's drink that, give ourselves a bit more health. Um, I'm going to put, like, some weight stuff in here as well. We could just poke them to death. Da -da -dum. Oh, shush. Bad kitty. They c I can just imagine the music is just going up and down and up and down. I do have night on super, super fast, so if it does get dark, um, it'll soon change. And I do have a torch. There we go. Can I, like, bop you on the head, sir? That nice damage to the momentum. We got this from a boss chest because we killed two bosses. Okay, 10,000 XP each. Nice. Let's get the other one. Hello, sir. I interest you in a fight. We will put this on a thrall um, once we've got made friends. There we go. Look at that freaking damage. So good. 
How do you get the spider web to make the silk? Um, when you kill a spider, use a sickle on its corpse and then you will get gossamer from it. Um, yep, if you use a hatchet, you'll get some ichor. But that's the best thing, is a sickle, basically. Um, otherwise, certain places around the map, um, you will find, like, gossamer on the ground and you can just turn it into silk. You can turn it into silk in your inventory. There you go, two silk for one thingy. Um, bear in mind that I think the gossamer weighs less. We got some, because they're, like, special creatures, we did get some steel fire from them. Advanced weapon kits. Nice. Okay. Right. Is that everybody up here? Any more lions and tigers and birds? Oh, babies! Okay. Well, now we have to make sure we don't kill the babies. Can you not? Can you not see me? Almost a combo, really, that I just killed him. Nice. Right, let's get the babies before they disappear. I don't think they'll go too far. Squirrel. Hello. Baby cats. Friendos. We did lose two, um, two babies, but they were tigers on this way here. Oh, kitty. It's a lion, yep. Yeah. Where's your other friendo? Fortunately, I don't think they can, like, jump down from here. Where is the kitty? Um, I think, wasn't there like a lion skin? Oh, there's another lion over there. And a baby. But there should be another baby around here. This is a nice place for a purge, to be honest. I mean, I don't know what kind of purges we get up here. There you go. Okay, it looks like we're going to have a lot of lion friends. Um... Has there been a Twitter post? Yes. Okay, good. Um, okay, perfect. Good, 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 good. Uh, yes, announcement. Um, Den join Dennis, Andy and Nicole uh, as they reveal what you can expect in the Age of War Chapter 2 on August 24th at 5pm uh, Central U European time, CEST, which is 11am uh, East Coast US. It'll be on Twitch and on YouTube. Fabulous, fabulous. I'm just retweeting it. Hold on. There we go. Perfect. Yay. Okay, good. Well, I only just found out about that myself, so I'm glad that I'm glad that's been they've they've told people, so I don't have to worry about hiding it. <laughs> um, I've got the shackles, uh, Dirge. Thank you for saying that, Dirge. Thank you for letting everybody know. I put a post. Uh, put a link to the twitter post in there so you can like whatever it is okay let's put our babies in the thrall pot do you know what i mean perfect ba -da -dum, ba -da -dum. Do, do, do. would you like me to show you the the shackles now and the other pieces should we just should we just have a look at it i'll do it in creative while we're at it while we're like you know being uber cheaters okay um so it was in furniture i think some things were in furniture um decorations furniture um the bed was here beds the bed will be an actual beds wasn't it what was it the shackles yeah here's the shackles which way this way so here's the shackles sets and there's a bed that comes with it as well um 
yeah, those two pieces. I'll show you those. So you can click on these, or you should be able to put a thrall in them. There you go. Very cool. Um, can I... Oh, I can use the bed as a spawn point. Interesting. So I guess you can just have that in your dungeon. So if you use, like, the dungeon set that they had in the bazaar previously. Um, it's a shame they didn't release them at the same time, almost, I, I guess. Um, yeah, or that I don't know. Yeah. Um, you're really clawing for those jokes. Oh, my goodness. Corner Nefanor. Oh, gosh. Yes, corner. Yes. So there you go. There's the dun there's the um the shackles set, which seem to work. We'll try and put a thrall in them as well. Um and then there was the Aquilonian set that I also was given. Here's the chaise long for it. It's kind of fittingly up in this lion area. There's the chaise long. It's like a lion draped across this. Kind of gruesome. And then there's a bed. Bed, bed, bed. The bed, which is very cool. You you can't get into it. I don't know about you guys. Whenever I log off at the end of the day, um, I do like to like lie on my bed and then log off. I don't know about you guys. Um, you can't get into it at all. I mean, it is lovely. There you go. That's what it looks like. It is lovely. And it's a different colour from the debauches of Deketa bed. And it's kind of the fanciest bed, I guess. One of the fanciest beds that we have. Because I'll show you the com comparison to the Deportuguese de Keto one. Whoop, sorry, it's not like flat ground. Um, there you go. There you go. So now we have another fancy bed. I guess the pillows are here. Well, I guess that's the pillow. That's where your head would go. So it's not too dissimilar in colour, but it's definitely more red. Um, yep. There you go. So you can see the size difference. Um, and then there's also a rug. Uh, decorations. Rugs, 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 rugs. So it's been a while since I've decorated. Is it in furniture? Yes, it is. Here's the rug. Let's put the rug here. Invalid placement. There you go. This is the rug. Looks kind of fluffy. It's like a blue colour with like a gold... See the hitbox and whatnot. Okay. And then... What else is there? There was a, a side table, a bedside table, which is quite little. Okay, very nice looking, like a reddish kind of brown colour wood. Um, compare it to what I usually use is the, I usually use the Terranian stool as a bedside table. You see like the size difference. There you go. Uh, what else was there? Is that it? Oh, there's a chandelier, uh, chandelier or a brazier. And then there's the outfit called... I don't know, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> I don't know. At Colonial Evening Attire. Um, so then we've got this hanging lamp. Okay. Let's have a look at this. Flotsam. Just make a little bit of a situation decorations lights hopefully it's in the right section sometimes they're not at cloning the hanging lamp oh god not again what is going on with hanging lamps honestly okay i know what is wrong with them have you does anyone else have this problem every time they try and use a hanging lamp they don't hang properly. Like, seriously. Do I need a different piece or something? Anyone know, have, a, have a trick for getting it to work? But this is why I don't use hanging lamps. Because they, they don't hang straight. They'll rotate like this. Ah... <sighs> 
Can you sit, lay on the lounge? You, it's basically a bed. Oh, this this thing here. Oh, I see what you mean. Does it have like an interactable thing for it? You can sit on it. Yeah. So if you set that Aquilonian bed as your spawn point, do you spawn on top of it? No, you don't. So I did test it. Um, I did take off my bracelet the other day, yesterday. Remember to put the music back on. Ba -da -dum, ba -dum. You spawn next to it, just as you do on your normal bed. Normal beds, you also spawn next to them as well. <laughs> this is not YouTube friendly. Um, what mods are you currently using that may cause issues of placement? I don't have any mods to do with building kit. I only see that depending on mods and the pieces you're trying to hang them from. Interesting. I don't have any... So all my mods are um, just quality of life mods. No no building mods. Um, that's that list. There should be nothing there that affects it. So yeah, you just spawn next to your bed anyway. Um, it's just a shame you can't get in it, you know. You can't... Oh, you can, oh, you can get in it if you want to. So can I lie down now? Am I going to get stuck, chat? This is where we get stuck. Cannot emote in your current state. Can I stand up? It won't let me stand up. Okay, I'm standing up. <laughs> oh, God. I'm getting, if I get stuck in here, I guess we'll just demolish the bed. So I can sit on the bed. That's cool. We're inside, yay! So yeah, you can crawl inside. I'm very pleased about that. Because you want to be able to sit on your bed, don't you? And like chat to your mates and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> can I then walk out? Yes, I can. Oh, well done. Well done to the team. That's so good. I'm really pleased, honestly. Because I was like, oh no, I actually said to them. Um, can I do I have to stand here? I did say to them, it's a shame you can't go inside. I'm very happy about that. Yeah. Um, so you do have to like, you have to like kick to stand. Um, right, wait till she stands normally. And then you can relax as well. Because normally like when I'm playing my friends or something, we'll like be chatting and um, I'll like lie on my bed and be like, all right, I'm logging off now. Do you know what I mean? That's good. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, it would be even better if you could just walk in. But the fact that I can walk out. Oh, thank goodness. I'm really pleased about that, honestly. Oh, it's the little things that make me happy, honestly. Um, yeah, so I've for ages, I've had this problem placing hanging thingies. It is. It does look very cosy, doesn't it? Um, I just, I don't, I have had this problem for like ages with any like hanging brazier. Okay, not that one apparently. Um, but like these ones that have this wider base. Um, let's get rid of you. Where are they? Like the, what am I... This guy, there's two, there's two different ones. Hanging brazier. That's actually fine this time. I don't know if they fixed some of them and then some of them they haven't fixed. Um, are they hanging straight now, a lot of them? Oh, Maelstrom starting. Okay, that one worked then. Okay, maybe it's the angle then or something. Okay, well there you go. That's the that's the Aquilonian brazier. It's got like a nice kind of like wire, I don't know, like pattern on it at the bottom. That's what it looks like. There you go. I just wanted to like show you what it looked like. There you go. All right, let's get rid of these things, I guess. And then there's the shackles. We will try that. Um, why can't I delete you? Cannot be picked up. Interesting. I could shift delete it though, can't I? Yeah. Imagine if I accidentally shift delete my horse. There you go. 
Um, i got to make sure I actually place a bed now. Because I currently don't have a bed here. Um, I guess we'll just use that one. <laughs> something. Um, let me just delete both of these and we'll make it in, like, you know, in-game and whatever. I'll leave creative mode. So we're not, like, gaining an unfair advantage. All right. Exit creative. There we go. Perfect. There you go. Well, I wanted to show you. Um, all right. So we wanted to make a bed legitimately. Let's use our artisan table, artisan bench, and we can make the new bed. Let me turn the music back on now for the ambiance. There we go. And then let's make let's make the new bed, I guess. Oh, I don't have the silk for it. That's the only thing. Hmm. All right. Uh, well, I guess in that case, we'll just make a basic bed. Um, and I'll start with something really tiny, honestly, probably. Um, hmm. We could make the Nemedian uh, from the People of the Dragon DLC. Or just like a little like one from the Argosian DLC. This is from oh, this is from the Argosian. This is from the Aquilonian. Um, let's make the Argosian one because it's cute. All right, let's plop this down, and then we can have a bed roll somewhere, and we can have our bed here. There we go. Perfect. So we have a bed. Spawn point updated. Great. So now, yes, I can place bed rolls all over the place. Okay, so now we have a bed. Um, we wanted to make... We respect. Um, are we in a position to go do some fighting? I think so. Let me repair my daggers. Let me just move you into the centre here, friend. Let me repair my daggers in my blacksmith bench. Um, let me pull the mats in for them. I have another set. Let's repair all our things. Now I've got to work on getting rid of all these things from my inventory. Do, 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 do. Um, chemical base goes in there. Um, I, di I did make the fluid press, so let's squish all the heads. Um, is there a journey for that? Axes or place a fireball cauldron? Oh, fireball cauldron. Okay, let's follow that step. Crafting station's alchemy. I oh, know, not that one, friend. This guy here. Press caps, pull the ingredients in. And put you there. Alright, axes or place... An alchemist bench. We already did that. Harvest aloe leaves. Not a problem. We can do that too. So at what point... Oh, we're crashing. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, chat. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. It's because I'm looking in that direction, isn't it? It's because we're looking in that direction. Oh my god, what is today? I need more coffee. Someone order me alcohol. <laughs> Chat. Oh god. I need to decide on lunch. When Neff says road, chat, road trip, he means um, to the kitchen. He always means to the kitchen. Chat. We already just relocated. Oh god. Bugger. Oh, what do we do? Oh, can I get out this game? Poor game. Game's just like, I just want to work for you, Anna. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. Let's just restart the game, shall we? Nice and calm. <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things, Kit. Yes. I suggest a magic waterfall in 12F. Oi, oi, oi. Getting a double cheese, wearing a strawberry shake. That sounds so good. Yes, indeed, Rogue. Can always use my nice cliff spots for a base. He's got a great view and you can make a nice mansion there. 
Mm, cha. Squirrel. Sad times. I just want to play the game. I just want to be like right there. Should probably move to the northern part of the map or something. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We should just leave here. I don't want to move to the north though. I want to be on this island because it's cozy. Balls. Maybe this island is just a bad idea. Yeah. Well, we've got a while till the next, like, if it's the next chapter when the next patch is coming out, then um, it could be a good while. It might not be, like, within the next couple of weeks uh, before we get an update to this map. Oh. Oh, balls. That's all I have to say. Ba -ba -bum. I really thought moving like just a little bit would fix it. Bum. Bum. Ba -dum. Balls, balls, balls. Right, which which direction can I not look in? Behind me. I can't look over there. We're just still too close, really, aren't we? What do we do, people? Where do we move to? Are you are you Guarding. Where do we go? Where do we move to? Do we leave this island? I don't want to leave this island. <sighs> it's a nice cliff near a border of five and six LM. What oh, here? Down here. Move to the into the storm like a true gamer. Six seven. Yeah. Here. And so she rose as if an angel had lifted her into the maelstrom. She did fly. Where do we go? Like, how far do we need to go for the for it to work? What do we do, peeps? Has anybody been has anybody been playing on Sipta and have any advice about locations that seem to be okay? It's a gorgeous view of the scene. It's very easy to defend purges. I'm not as worried about purges. I don't know how much time we're going to have to uh, play on this map before the new chapter. Um, so I kind of want to like I don't want to like worry too much about that. We could go where we were on the first playthrough, which is my favourite place on this map. Which is over here, which hopefully would be far away enough. Um, there's a bunch of NPC camps, like nearby. There's an NPC camp there. There's the there's the grey one spawning pools over there. Um, there's an NPC camp there. Um, just because I happen to be familiar with it. C6, which I like. I once lived on a mountain northeast. Nice views. This is where we were on our first playthrough. I love this place, chat. I fully recommend it as a, as a a build spot. It's right here. If you want a place on Sipta, it's just gorgeous. There's water. It's like all up on a plateau. Um, you can build on most of it up here. There are um, Komodos, which give you ichor. Um, there's a bunch of those and little babies as well. There's some iron. Lots, like, Not lots of trees, but there's trees. There's cats too over there. Um, and then down here, there's even more Komodos. And there's this beautiful waterfall. Um, but I did play, I did, we did have a base here on the first playthrough. Um, see, there's a bunch of Komodos down here. Little babies, they make little noises, like, oi, oi. Hi. There you go. Hi. They're so cute. Hi. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> I don't know what to do. C6 Witch Lake. C6. What, down here? Down there? They're so cute, aren't they? I love them so much. Hi. Hi, buddy. Hi. Yeah, and <laughs> it gets so dis distractified. I just think they're so adorable. Um, I, don't, I really don't know what to do, like, in terms of, like, direction. I really want to build where we are, that's the thing. But we've had, like, what is it, five crashes today? Four crashes? Am I over-exaggerating? I don't know. 
Ba-dum, ba-dum. Do we just get the horse and just leave it and just re, re like just leave everything where it is and just go and relocate somewhere? Go on a mission. Or we could just get on a horse and ride somewhere and go looking for like base locations. Should we do that? Should we just go on a bit of a ride? Leave everything behind. We'll just try and like we'll just like I don't wanna like uh um I don't want to transport it all around the map. I'd rather we just kind of like replicated it. Bugger. The nice thing about where we had chosen to live is that I haven't lived exactly there before. So I have like a slightly different experience. I never want to live in the same place twice when I'm streaming, certainly. I don't mind when I'm on like a server or something um, because, you know, that's fine. But yeah, I kind of want to have a reasonably new experience. Um... Yes. Don't look. Just don't look it in the eye chat. Look away. Everybody look away. Everybody look away. Um, yeah, what do we do? I guess we could just, like, replicate all this stuff where we're going. I mean, I don't really care about any of this stuff, apart from maybe, like, thick hide and stuff. Oh, bugger. What do you think, people? Well, let's just go on a journey and uh, find somewhere to live. I've got my momentum. We respect. We've got some weapons. We've got a horsey who's got some vines. Treehouse? Should we do a treehouse? Okay, so one of the places I was thinking about living was um, a great place to start your playthrough is by the Serpent Men uh, vault, which is like around here somewhere, because that's quite an easy vault like early game. And there's a bunch of trees. Should we live in the redwoods? Like little tree people. <sighs> I'm not in God and Cloak anymore, am I? Nope. Honestly, with momentum, we can we could probably like do some dungeons. <laughs> he hasn't even managed to hit me yet. Let's get, let's harvest him because we'll get some goods from him. Demon blood, fangs, feral flesh. Yes. Well, built my Stormgast Gothic Mansion in that cliff. I suggest it was my first time to go look sometime. Took some cues from your song. Yeah. So the only thing about building a treehouse is I kind of want to do like an epic build. And I don't know if I can do an epic build and a treehouse. Hmm. Well, Island. Let's let's get away from here. It's cursed. It's a cursed island. Sounds like the guy at the beginning. The beginning of Exiled Lands. This land is cursed. Can make it like an Ewok village. Yeah, we could do. Uh, Horsey, you seem to have gotten yourself into a bit of a pickle here. He's like, I don't know what you mean. You did this. You just push W and I move. I wish you'd stop blaming me. I like this island. Squirrel. Okay. Let's head to the redwoods. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, RPG. Hello, lovely. Thank you so much for 400 bits. Thank you, thank you. Yes, we're having a bit of a cursed playthrough so far, though, because Sipto is currently a bit buggy. It's a bit crashy. Um, it's having some issues, um, which we did know about. Well, I thought it was just on console. I didn't realise it was also on PC. Um, I probably still would have done the playthrough. Um, and as soon as I realised, I was like, well, I'm still going to do the playthrough because, you know, at least we'll see what the, what the problems are. 
Um, but we seem to have an accidentally set up in the absolute worst place, which is where the crashes are happening. So we're going to relocate. Um, I reckon what we'll do is we'll move, um, we'll move, like, we'll go there now and I'll kind of like maybe relocate like after the stream or something, mayhaps. Um, but we'll kind of head in this direction, I suppose, and we'll see if we can find somewhere cosy, um, you know. To like maybe build like an Ewok village or something like that. I do have uh, I do have all the DLCs, including the one that gives you like the tree platforms, uh, which is in the oh god, is it the Debauchies of Taketo DLC chat? I forget which one it is. Quick side 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 moment. Is it the Debauchies of Taketo? Wasn't stable stages, no. This this is part of it as well, these bridges. And now we've got the option as well of using the the perk that gives better stability. special this one i don't remember what it's from but yeah you can place these like shaped kind of like foundations in a tree um i'm pretty sure i think it's the is it the debauchy city ghetto anyway there you go let's make sure i'm not in any special mode sometimes i do automatically go into it when i click creative okay perfect Alrighty, we ride friends i think so yeah build a ship on the water yeah, I mean, I've never done that before, so I'd have to find somebody's, like, template for it. And I don't really like to... I wouldn't enjoy that as much. Um, it is a great idea, and we've seen lots of people build ships and stuff on this map. I don't like I don't like to copy someone's build. I, I don't enjoy it as much, really. Um, yes. Bum, bum, bum. But, um, all right, let's go to the Redwoods and let's find somewhere cool. This is where we got that Lemurian pike from on the last stream. Killed a bunch of people. Doom, doom. So if we're going to ride up here, let's go along the coast because I do want to get my um, belly dance emote, dance emote thingy. Because I I just can't I can't stream without it, chat. You know what I mean? It's like my superpower. Right. Okay. Oh god, that didn't happen. Sorry. <laughs> Apologize. How are you doing, RPG? What have you been up to? You've been playing lots of Baldur's Gate. What have you been doing? It's the end of the maelstrom. I did it use a build video as a guide made my own. Yeah. I hear what you're saying. I just don't I wouldn't I don't enjoy using using other people's like videos. I like to make something myself. But I you know it's absolutely fine to do so, that's what it's there for. Badum bum bum badum bum bum do 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 I have Ikim. I feel like one of you said this was a good place to be. Right, so let's get away from the crashing area. Uh, there's the Crystal Lacerta boss. Let's fight him as well, because he's like he's a nice one to fight. Um, I'm going to use my daggers, because I don't want to use up this momentum's... Uh, I don't have any points in uh, agility now. Because we respect to fight some grey ones. Let's fight this guy. Hello, sir. May I fight you? Um, I'll have to see if I can get the eggs from that place. Horsey will be providing bait. He looks very cool, doesn't he? The 
The nice thing about that uh, Isle of Dawn is that the, the bosses are like flesh creatures, you know. Um, but there are a few of these like crested Lacerta bosses around the coast. Bum, 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 bum. He doesn't know what to do. It's like, I cannot focus on this lady. I could kill him a lot faster with the momentum, but um, I just don't want to use the durability when I don't need to. Because this guy will just be chipped down with his with the bleed. I just have to keep the bleed up applied, really. What is going on? He's trying to get to me. Just to stay around the butt area. So confused. It's like, will you stand still and stay by my face? He's given up. He's he's in a sulk now. Since I got the DLC that gives those tree platforms, I never really built that much in the trees. So, and especially that was that came out before they added the really big like benches. Um, so it will be interesting to see how that kind of goes. But one of the nice things about this map is, oh shizzle nits! I don't have a bed here. Can I just maybe uh, heal myself, sir? Hopefully, he doesn't heal like heal up all the way. Okay. Okay, good. Getting stuck in his head or hitbox is just like one of the main problems. It's not too bad though. You can do this like the stone daggers at the very beginning. <laughs> it's such a cursed fight. It's just so, it's so indicative of today. Oh, chat. What is my life? I just like timed my roll because I was stuck in his head then. So I wouldn't take any damage. Yes. Can I drink some potion? You fudge. Wait, the last time he gave me enough time to drink my potion. Let's get out of the way. Get up, get up, get up. Oh, chat. Alright, tail swipe. That's a good one to give you a chance to, like, heal and stuff. Can you come and fight me? Maybe we should have just used momentum. So it is night time, but we can see the aura around us a little bit. And I have night very on very, very fast speed, so it'll be daylight very soon. I'm stuck in his head. Nearly dead. Come on now, friend. Work with me. I've used a lot of my durability on my my uh, daggers. I'm just gonna stand on his back. He won't mind. <laughs> I mean it respectfully, sir. <laughs> Such a funny fight. All right, now. Come on now, you had a good innings. Take it, take it like a champ. There we go, perfect. That went perfectly, chat. I didn't get bitten once. I dodged like a pro. It was incredibly quick. Do you know what I mean? The fight lasted all night. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <sighs> yes. Did I bring any iron with me? Probably not. We're just like fleeing our like little like proper exiles now. Um, okay, let's get out of here. We got our skeleton key, so we can get our chest from the centre of the map. 
All night long, yeah, that's it. Good song. On Baldur's Gate 3, we have the L team. Oh, I, really? Lazel, reskinned as a rogue shadow. Carlock, I'm playing as a sorcerer. Fun, but a time sink for sure. Ah, oh, nice. I need to play more of it. I did say to people that I would, um, I would maybe do like a full day uh, this week. Maybe we'll do it tomorrow. I'm not sure. I don't know, people. I have been playing a lot of Paleo, and I feel like I've maybe Paleoed myself out. Um, yes. Because I've like I've made I've made the house now, and all I'm doing is kind of like decorating it, and I don't know. I feel like I've grinded out that game. So maybe we'll go back to Baldur's Gate. Um, we're going to continue doing um, Sipta until um, until Chapter Two, until there's an update. Uh, yes, but yep. Now we know there's a dev stream on the twenty fourth, which is very exciting. Um, that cl cliff. Oh, this thing here. Oh, that cliff. Here. Oh, like there. In that little spot. Hello, Blake. How are you doing? Um. Oh, goodness me. All those great three also planning our Calgary D and D games at the end of November. Good. That sounds fun. Um, further east is a cliff I like. Lunch is decided. Bowl of chili and corn. Cob of corn. That sounds lovely, enough and all. Um. Either OJ or make some cream soda. <gasps> Cream soda. I haven't had cream soda since I was a kid. Yes. Bum, bum, bum. Doo -doo. Right, I've got to remember to look for the uh, belly dance emote. Um, some of the emotes are in, like, scrolls uh, along, like, the beach. Little, like, washed up messages in a bottle. Um, there's a little NPC camp here. It's actually quite a low level one. So it is quite a good place to live. Oh, and also, hmm. So low level NPC camp tick trees for building in tick um which is good you want low level npcs particularly for um sorcery right because you want to turn people in um am i going to use my my mace maybe let's put down a bedroll because i don't know if like what our bedroll situation is really do i have any like skin let's skin a bird before we start fighting even though they're very low level people there was a headhunter event here on the age of sorcery um but we do want to level our sorcery up quite a lot on this playthrough because um quite quickly because i want to make the teleportary stones is there a creature yes hello sir could i murderify you please Rah. he says yes it's very obliging go let's skin him and then we can make a bedroll you're gonna give me skin bud just feathers you you have flesh as well come on now sir stop rolling away from me no f no flesh let's find a critter i feel like just sometimes you get the this maybe this is a good cool place to build right because we need the npc camp is it just that i'm bored of moving today <laughs> I feel like, sometimes i feel like all we do is move house chat i don't know why i think that oh, there's a deer over there let's get it we'll do it in a one hit told you um two sorcerers and for religions yeah for religions too found a dancer also found obsidian in Exiles, you melt in that volcano, but where do you melt? Nowhere. Mm -mm. Uh, there is a hot place uh, on the Isle of Dusk. There's like, um, that's where the forge is. Can't you make a bed out of plant bits and spit? Yes, I don't want to. You can. I don't want to. There you go. Now we can make our little cute terrainian ones. Yeah, we'll explore these, um, this foresty bit here. Yeah, it's like the entrance to the forest. It's not too far from this island. It might not be, might not be a bad idea, Neff, honestly. 
Yeah. And we could, so we could have the best of both worlds. We could build in the trees, but have the sunlight. <gasps> Found it on the other end. Yeah, I just pointed. What? So you've already found it. So what were you asking for? Um, have I missed something? The other island. There's to be four posted bed with the curtains, even out in the wilds. No, not a bed. A bedroll. 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 That's it. There you go. Okay, cool. Bedroll placed. Let's go fight some people. Doo -doo. You play the game you want to, and I'll do the same, you know? Do whatever you want. Bum, bum. Ba -da -dum. Right. Let's go visit the locals. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, hey there. He called me Anna one hit. <laughs> yeah. It's a very it's a very tough camp chat. Make sure you're well armored. Prepare yourself. They are gonna be great for sorcery. I want all the bits. I guess so at this stage of the game. I'll take all the things. Badum, badum, badum. We are using momentum. Bear that in mind. It is incredibly powerful as a mace. <laughs> and I am specced into strength, um, which I'm not usually. This is so good. We're going to give it to a thrall, friendo. So yeah, these guys will be amazing for sorcery, for like, uh, sacrificing. It'll help us to do things really quickly. Yeah, Wreck of the Sea Girl. Hmm. Let's ride into the trees and have a little look around. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. We used to, used to slum in it. I used to always use sticks and plant fiber to make um bed rolls and i i hated it and now I, and then i realized i could just use hide and I, honestly for like thousands of hours i never made hide bed rolls i don't know why and now i just i hate to use anything else really it's just one of those things and i love the little terranian ones i think they're super cute so yeah we could have a tree house in the sunshine because that's one of the things i don't like about building um, in the in the forest is that it's dark. Come on then, sir. This might be perfect, honestly. Neff Neff suggestion good. That's what I'm saying. Camp has a bottle on the beach behind some wreckage. Mm, I f had a feeling it did. Yeah, I was like looking around for it. Do love the extra thralls on the sack table's ready to go when I need a quick to correct. Yeah. I do but have have butt butts. Uh, you keep, stop butterfying kids' messages, naughty butt spot. Bad butt spot. There we go. Perfect. It is kind of gorgeous, isn't it? Where is, like, the shippy thing? Let's just have a run up here. That dog is like, I just want to come and bite you. Bum, bum. It likes me. I made a new friend. Yes. Yeah, but spot is very funny. Do 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 do. I don't know. I kind of like it. There's a bit of sunshine. I just find I do find the redwoods to be a bit oppressive. Um, sir. So, you big old squawker. Do do. And I haven't lived like here. So I will have like a bit of a different experience. That's what I liked about the Exiled Lands is I would move like um, that's why I have so many I've had so many bases on the map. Um, you know, you can really have a very different experience. You live in a slightly different location. You know, it's always a new adventure. Sorry about that. I'm just violent. What can I say? There's a bear in this woods, friendos. Hi there. There's also some aloe in the 
river next to us. Hi there. Is this your rock? Can I share it with you? Then we like be buddies and stuff. There's also a lot of like nice vaults in this section of the map as well. Yeah, you, I'm gonna stay away from your burst attack. Cause it kind of it hurts, doesn't it? You bleedy person. So you bled me first. Do do do. Do 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 do. You're better than the croco deal, I've got to say. Nice. Get a bit of fur from him, maybe. Uh, steel. Yes. Hmm. Have a reconnoiter around this area. We the bear pelt is great because we can get thick hide from that. Bit of iron here. Maybe I should mark the iron. Is it just one little blob? It is it isn't really particularly notable in amounts, is it? But let's mark it anyway. Might regret it otherwise. There's a vault like right there. Do 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 da do 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 My name is Crocky. I wish to bite you. I have big teeth. Sometimes I do poos. No? We'll work on the song. Got some aloe vera. We're not going to struggle with this, are we? Let's do some reconnoitering. Always running around with my horse behind me. Horse is like, you know what I'm here for? You're supposed to ride on me, no? Maybe. I feel kind of useless. My feet hurt. There's a kitty. I think they drop uh, heavy thingies too. Thick hide. Burn them. If I remember correctly. Hello, sir. That's a fine beard you have. Hi. Sir, in my defense, I pressed alt. I can't blame lag though, it's a single player. Probably, I think they give a lot of XP as well, if I remember. But they do kind of hurt. Boom, 7,000. I mean, better than a kick of the teeth. Do you give thick hide? Feline pelt. Yes, thick hide, there you go. Yep, and feline pelt. And feral flesh. Right, let's give this to our horsey. Oh, we left our horses behind as well. We'll have to go get those. We'll do like a proper move. But um, I will choose somewhere and set up first, I guess. There's the vault. Let's go see which one it is. Where are you at, brother? Yeah, I forgot my horse. Where were you, chat? Where were you with the reminders? Oh, this guy's already injured. Come on, timely reminders, people. Timely reminders. This is what we need. Kitty gave you hugs, good kitty. Yes. Oh, he's just lying on his back for belly rubs now. So sweet. <laughs> uh, a doggo pups any good as companions like greater ones? Um, I don't know. Uh, you mean they're like the Yakiths, you mean? Yakiths yeah, probably very good, aren't they? If you mean those scary hellhound things. Now, I do have build everywhere on, so we could build as close to this vault as we wanted to. And there's some sunlight here, which is kind of cool. This is one of the wolf... Is it Wolf Brothers? Den of the Wolf Brothers or something? Den of the Wolf Brothers, yes. Some wolf friendos. Yes. There's black ice here, which is handy. They, have, they did do a good job at distributing materials around the map, um, which is good. Oh, there's iron here, which is handy. Let's mark that, isn't it? Do, 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 do. Let's take on one of these guys and see how hard they hit. I don't know how, I don't know how tough they are these days in the age of war. 
Hello, sir. Is that your hole you're guarding? We got 2,000 health and some talons. Okay, he doesn't hit me too hard. I'm wearing medium armor. Do I have any grit? I'm like the first perk or something in grit, maybe. So I do think, if I remember correctly, they don't actually bleed you, even though they have all these like long claws. Wow, he is not taking a lot of damage. This could take a while. 16 per tick from the bleeds. 22 because the stack is getting higher. And then if we get it to 20, it's taking 27 per tick. There we go. Keep that bleed up to 20. Keep away from the business end. I've only got one heal on my hotbar, so I've got to try and avoid really taking any damage. Because I'm unprepared, as per usual. I could just slash and roll, really, if I want to. I don't have any points in agility, so my daggers aren't really doing anything by themselves. Or his friend heard us fighting. He wishes to fight us too. Excuse me! Sir? I'm really a, like a one-person, like, monogamous fighter. Do you know what I mean? Not really any room for extras in this relationship. Sir? Your friend is also very large and terrifying. Okay, if you could maybe die now because I'm, I need to heal. Super. Very obliging of you. Let's just pop these. <laughs> He's just chasing my horse. The horse is honestly... The, the, the real, like, benefit to a horse is the freaking attraction everyone else feels to them, isn't it? Sir, that wasn't very nice, was it? First of all, you were not invited to this party. Your friend is now dead. You should be grieving for him. Instead, you're taking swipes with those really quite unfairly long arms, right? You're exploiting your advantages here. I don't appreciate it. I am merely a tiny person with, albeit, daggers in my hands. Don't run back! Sit! Sit! He didn't want to fight me. Let's drink some water. Okay, let's see what these guys drop. Oh, yo, yo, where did you come from? Sit! <laughs> you were uninvited! I need some iron, don't I? Screw you, sir. You turd wallet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that hurt. Can I... Can I heal? Wait, I'm pressing 8. Nothing's happening! Oh, this one is all about showing off, I see. My claws are sharp. Yours need yours need a bit of sharpening. Oh, he's 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 like bugged out because he's on like a on an edge. Let's take advantage of him. Sit. I don't like that they knock you down with that swipe. It's unfair. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. God, that hurt, didn't it? Horsey! Horsey! Get him, horsey! He lost me. <laughs> He's gone confused. Oh, that was a bit sneaky, wasn't it? Oh, you're a bit of a devil. Right, come on. Oh, yo, yo. Well, see, will you be in my meat shield? I don't have any heals out. Please don't kill me! Don't kill me! I don't want to die! I'm too young! My horse is too young. My horse will need a mother. Let's get sated. 
I do have passive regen. Okay. Nope. Nope. I'm just going to remember he's got fleas any minute now. Come on now. <laughs> Do your injuries, please. Please. There we go. Textbook fight, chat. Absolutely textbook. Perfect fight. <laughs> Perfect demonstration. Yeah, absolutely. And will friend has a relationship to impacts. Yeah, that's fair. Ah, so it just got buggy. Can't place anything on my base's floor. Oh, just relog, for Storm. That'll fix it. Um, what mini map are you using? Uh, it's from Hozav's UI mod. Yep. Um, yeah, there's a couple of um, uh, mini maps I've got on my my mods list. Um, that's the list of mods that I've got. Um, yeah, this is just a mini map, and you can actually I think you could just move it around however you want to. Yep, I have it in like a custom position. This is how I've got it: twenty five and eighty five, uh, eight five five. Um, but also. There is also one with my improved quality of life mod. Um, but I have the minimap switched off because I just prefer Hozavs basically because it has like. Um, it pulls in contextual information from the map. So that's kind of cool. Let's make some more aloe, shall we? Cool. Well, we found a. We found a. Found a. What's it called? A vault. Right. Where do we want to live exactly, though? Like, where do I want to put down the foundations? I guess we'll go up the river a little bit. I should put down a bedroll. Let's put down another one here. I guess we really want to be as close to the shore as possible because the NPCs. Um, it's just, they're so low level. It, I don't know if we're going to do better than that. Everyone else is going to be Stygian, I think, that we come across. Um, that's where Riverwatch Keep is, where you learn sorcery. Bum, bum, ba -da -dum. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Mm -hmm. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo. Yeah, awesome sauce. Yeah, it's very good. It's also the reason I have the contextual information in the top left. Uh, not contextual information. It's the reason I've got the... Um, extra details on my uh, on my HUD, basically, including like, you know, stamina and weight and uh, food and water and all that stuff. Really, I think really the only thing that, um, I think the only thing I don't like about the mod is that it doesn't say, it. I find it is more clear, it's, it's, I'm, it's easier to see when I need to drink and eat on, uh, without using it. Um, but, um, you know, it is fine. I mean, when I when I run out of food and water, um, my character will tell me. So there's like a little camp up here. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Riverwatch ca uh, Keep, which is Wayland Sorcery, does have um, it does have a jail, a little little jail cell. Nice thing about this one is that i'm gonna use my momentum because these guys will hit pretty hard um how hard we hit um this one has like a free bow and arrows at it which is kind of cool which is what i thought we'd come across the other day at that other camp Exiles. Hmm. So there are only exiles as well. So yeah, there should be. So there's arrows. Iron head arrows. Where are they? Another one here. I mean, not loads or anything. There's also a grave thingy. Which you need a shovel for, which you get from Flotsam, which will be have really good loot potentially. Some arrows. And there should also be a bow somewhere as well. 
The nice thing about Sipta, one of the nice things about Sipta is there's a bunch of like free loot dotted around the map in places, which is kind of cool. I'm going to leave the golem arm because it's a stone one. I just added it. Thirty silver. Um, let me get my torch out and then see if I can see the bow. Is it like against something? Do, 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 do. I mean, it's just a bow you can make in your own inventory. Oh, does anyone know exactly where it is? I forget. I feel like it's just like leaning against something. Another arrow. Do, do, do. Mm. There's an arrow in that. Another one there. Badam, badam. Is it against the tree? Hmm. You don't know, chap. I feel like we found it on the last playthrough, the last time we came here. But I don't remember where it is. Anyway, it's no big deal. I mean, it's still a it's still a bow that um, you can craft. Maybe it's just not always here. I don't know. It should say Eater Interact next to it. Maybe there's like a rack somewhere. Anyway. So yeah, this is here. Cool. All right. Let's go. Da -da -dum -da -dum. Okay, let's go back towards the beach and let's see if we can find somewhere to set up, like near that camp. We'll find somewhere kind of cool. Da -da -da. Never, see never seen a bow there. I'm sure I've seen a bow there. I believe there were. Well, you're not supposed to dig something up to get that to work. You've got to get a shovel from Flotsam Kel, the grave digger, to to dig up the uh, thingy. That's not um, that's not the bow I'm talking about. There used to be a bow that was just leaning there. I've seen you do it before. Yeah, the digging up of the grave definitely. You've got to have like a shovel. So you just got to um, explore, um, pick up any like Flotsam around the coast. Do 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 do. Right, back to the coast. So yeah, if we do build in the trees, I would rather it was in these like sunny trees anyway. Bum 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 bum. Do, do, do. That way is the coast, right? Charge! Sorry! Okay, let's look for somewhere nice to set up a little camp. We can use these trees if we want to, to make a little tree house at some point. The no promises. Somebody did say on one of my YouTube videos, uh, you know, where's this thing that you promised? I was like, come on now, things change. We could also build around that, like, pillar thing as well if we wanted to. Well, what do we do, peeps? Um, let's go get the, um, the dance emote. I'm just going to put bedroll back down here. 
What I should have done is made sure I picked up iron, actually, from that little camp. Then I could repair my stuff. I don't have any iron. Okay, let's see if we can get that little dancer moat, and then we'll find somewhere around here. Is that the DLC map? It looks nice. It's beautiful. It's Sipta, yes. It is indeedy. It's gorgeous. Very, very nice. It is a bit buggy at the moment, just as like a warning. Um, down this area of the map where we happened to have set up <laughs> is like has a crashing issue. So just avoid down here. It's a shame because this island here is gorgeous. This one is cool as well and has lots of really good high level enemies. Um, but we're going to kind of like relocate to around this area. Um, just because we yeah the crashing became too much it was fine like last episode if, if we crash like twice a stream i'm honestly i'm like if i want to live somewhere i would just be like oh well we'll just deal with it but it was too many times squeaky what is wrong what is wrong with you fluff so around the map uh certainly on the coastline there are like scrolls where you can i think it's up here the dance the uh, belly dance gotta look out for these things and then you can learn your emotes. What is it? Come here. What is wrong? Come here. Come here. She complains and then she runs away. Come here. Come. Come. Come here, kitty. What's wrong? What's the matter? What's wrong with you? Hey. Yes. I have an armful of cat. What is wrong with you, you big fluffster? Hey, I put pictures of you in the Discord today, didn't I? With your new toys from Nefanor. Did you see the pictures, Neff? Your toys arrived. They're nice. You were like a lunatic or a crack addict, weren't you? Leaping about the place. I had to take loads of pictures because they were so blurry. Didn't I? Yes. Yes. She looks very cross. Let me put you down. There you go. She's like calm but cross. Pictures are so cute. She's so cute, honestly. She's a little nutcase, but I do love my cat. Yeah, she's so sweet. Ah, oh, thank you. But yeah, she's a lovely little fluffster. Do do do. Yeah, nearly all the wish list stuff has arrived. Um, there's like one thing that I think is coming separately from Amazon, which is one of the things that Mortal sent me. God, that moon moving terrified me for a moment. Um, but other than that, everything else arrived. Thank you all so much. I don't think there's anything right here. Da -da -dum, da -dum. Do 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 do. Yeah, night, night will be over very quickly because I've set it up that way. Let's go across here. I think it's like on that kind of northern vertical trajectory or whatever. Edge. Ooh, the water. As the mouse mat. Mouse mat has arrived too, Kevin. Yes. Did I not mention that in the, in the thing? Yes, mouse mat... Um, one of the two skincare things that Mortal sent me has arrived. Uh, cat food has arrived. Um, the toys from Neff have arrived as well. Yep, yep, yep. All good. And I, I believe that the, um, one of the skincare things is like coming by different type of posts for some reason. Da, 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 da. Is that a bottle? No. Nope. Doo -doo. These are just like, this is one of the starter areas. Let's just run. It's easy for me to see on foot anyway. Dum, da, dum, dum. I should have pro probably should have checked when we very first started, but I don't know how fun it is to start the game and like look at, run around looking at the ground. Just want to cuddle Zena. She's so freaking cute, honestly. She's a lovely little cat. She's very spirited. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, she was a complete nutcase with that toy. It's uh, it's it's like the perfect size as well. It's awesome. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Do, do, do. 
Yeah, when you're on a... So these things, like, I think they have a chance to spawn or something on a server. Um, I don't think they're, like, always, always there. But I find... I think in single player, whenever we've checked, they've been here. Use, like, bottles. Message in a bottle. I don't think it's here. I think it's, like, that way. I don't really want to look up the exact location. Is there people here? No. Um, but there's a water bottle. A water container. Squeaky, what are you doing? She's trying to get my attention. Squeaky! Stop being a pooper. Um, ba -da -da. I have like 50 different names for my cat. Is anyone else like that? I don't know if you would get along great. He's a lunatic too. Uh, is it an angry dog over here? Of course, he went for my horse. Horse is the best decoy. It would be good if you could turn off irritate from your horse, wouldn't it? I guess. Be kind of cool. Da, 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 da. Um, that's where my current playthrough has started to just build a starter shack palace. That was nice. Nice saw. I'm very, very excited for chapter two. I'm really looking forward to learning more about the new purge, um, which is being completely rewritten. Um, and as someone who's always enjoyed, but not always enjoyed purges, I started off hating purges when I had my first ever purge when I played the game. I was fully disgruntled. <laughs> Hated it. I had a, sta a sandstone house and um, yeah, it was completely like, oh god, it was just wrecked by a bunch of pirates in the jungle. It was a nightmare. I want to say it's further up. I can't play without this um, emote, you know what I mean? Do do do. Ba -dum -dum. do do do. Bum, bum. do do do. Do 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 do. It's kind of my favourite. What's your favourite emote chart? Do you have one? Is it one of the dances? I think my least favourite is probably like the seduce emote or like the snake dance because I find them very creepy and I had friends who liked to like troll me by doing it because they knew I found it very creepy and so I'm like I hate them. <laughs> Just really do hate them. Do you have an emote that you hate as well? It's like oh god please don't do that. It's super creepy. Are you using a mod that increases carry weight? No. No of course not. Hate the chicken dance. Uh, I'm not giving. I don't have any um, mods that give me an advantage, except for better thralls, and only the feature that allows you to heal your thralls by having um, heal pots in their inventory. Stamina, damage, everything is completely vanilla. Everything is completely vanilla. Um, yes, I don't have anything that increases my carry weight. I'm wearing clothing that increases carry capacity, and I'm kind of full right now. Why would you why would you ask that, Professor? What did what made you think that? Or dance emote gets on my nose too noisy. Hmm. Yeah. Da -da -dum -bum. Da -da -dum -bum. Yeah, all my mods just give me information apart from that. I could be using um better thralls. With better thralls I could be using uh uh, I could be having like a bunch of people following me around if I wanted to, but I don't want to do that. I want to like experience the game as mu in as much a vanilla way as possible. But I just want the extra info because it helps me to talk about stuff. Um, but I want us to all have the same kind of experience, really, you know. Da -da -dum -dum. Why do you use do you use a mod that increases carry capacity, Professor? I just wonder why you asked that question. Da -da -dum -dum. I'm getting close to looking up this location. I don't want to take all day doing it. 
uh, have the Stygian drums in front of my house and servo I just like to stand and bang on them. I love that. It makes me think of it's, who is that song that somebody sent to me once? I just want to bang on the drum all day. Is it Todd, Ted, somebody? I don't want to go to work. I just want to bang on the drum all day or something. Um, didn't think the armor that increases character. I didn't wear it, so I can only carry something like 150. Oh, I see. Right. Mm -hmm. I see. I got you. Had a problem. Loads of oyster flesh on the ground if we wanted snacks. Um, juggle, fanning, and backflip. Yeah, I never use the backflip one. So most of the emotes I, I just use for like thumbnails and stuff. This is kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, I had to buy that one. Um, a lot of them, I guess, come in the as a backflip. It's kind of cool. Um, yeah, but the dance one I just can't live without because whenever I'm AFK, I always put my character on like a dance, and it just has to be that one because I like it. Uh, that or the Pictish um, dance, which is kind of cool. Am I going to look up the location? I think I'm almost at that point now. Ba -da -dum -bum. Um. Um, there it is. It is, it's not far from us, it's up here. It's like here. There. Okay, let's go have a look for it. Todd Rundgren, yeah. I call that my Friday song. They used to play every Friday. Oh, that's so nice. So it reminds me I should update my Conan game and service that my world stays alive whilst I dive into new PoE League. Nice. Um... God, auto mod thought that was something dodgy. Um, lots of iron at base of the at the house yeah okay. i don't want to work i'm gonna have that stuck in my head now i'd never heard that before like a year ago i think or maybe two years ago mayhaps all right let's grab this emote Great song. Hello, Lumiton. How are you doing today? We're having a troubling stream today. We are relocating because our game keeps crashing. Yes. Hello, Lady Bandit. Evening, ma'am. Evening, sir. It is butts. It is super butts. Definitely. Bad butts. Not good butts. Yeah, like last stream, I think the, it, we like crashed about twice um, and I was like, it's fine. It's not too bad. But we were just trying to get ready to go and do what we were planning to do that today, which was to, I was planning to respec, go to the uh, spawning pools or go just go to the grey ones, really. Proving grounds, maybe. And um, um, yeah, try and get some good weapons from the grey ones, but we just kept crashing. So it is a known issue and, you know, apparently the next patch is hopefully when it's going to come out. I just didn't realise it was on PC as well as uh, uh, console. And then when I realised it was, I was like, oh, well, let's see how see how badly it affects us. And apparently it's quite a bad problem. So, um, yes. 
It is what it is. We'll work around it. I, did, I just think mid-season is like a perfect time for me to play Scepter. And it'll keep us occupied until we get the uh, next chapter. Which doesn't sound like it's too far away if, the, um, if there's a dev stream on the 24th. Where exactly is it? Is it like here-ish? Oh, I feel like I... I always have this like partial memory and it's always the same. Is it like tucked away? Rat to you two. Where is it? I think there's a ghost actually for the belly dunce. Am I right, people? Hello, birdie. You're so very violent. Try not to hit my friend, will you? Do 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 do. Where are you, dance emote? I know this is a major tangent, but I just want to get this. Okay, where am I singing everything? Where is it? Um, it's f it's right at the end, apparently. Do 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 do. I don't think it's in the boat. Do 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 do. It's like there, apparently. Hmm. Let's use Kaya's video. Hello, FireFam. Uh, belly dance. Show me, friend home. Okay. On that corner. Here. It's like she can hear me. Yes, Anna. <laughs> dum da dum. Do 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 do. Near the boat. I think I've gone too far, peeps. Maybe it isn't here right now. Maybe it's because there's a chance for it. Yes, there it is. There you go. Thank you, Kyra Fire. Excellent. Nice. There we go. Just have to watch the emote and then you learn it. Can I do it now? I didn't learn it. Wait, I have to pick up the scroll. I thought, didn't I just have to watch it? Oh, there it is. Perfect. There's the scroll. Sir! Could you F off? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, like, take a screenshot for myself. We 
because the boat is a really good reference point. There we go. There we go. For future reference, because I always struggle to find it. Perfect. Now we have the dance emote. Sharpened daggers. I've just found that. Put your knives away, love. Oh, I have to click on it. Bear with. There we go. Okay, so now we've learned the, the deli, belly dance emote. Click on that. Learned new emote. Belly dance. Perfect. There we go. The one you learn in the den. There you go. Perfect. Ah, thank you for reminding me of the song. I needed that. Oh, bless you. Bless you. See you later, Forstma. Take care. All right. Perfect. Now we've learned that, we can play the game. That's all we needed. Absolutely. Let's go back. Let's find somewhere to set up. I guess we'll bring some bits and bobs. Um, do do do. Do 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 do. Perfect. Um, um, thank you very much. Do do do. Grab a to dance like a lunatic. Oh, you guys are so cute. Bless you. Right. Oh, I should delete that um, wish list thingy, shouldn't I? Or, like, change it. Alrighty. Let's get home, people. Come on, Stella. Let's go set up. Oh, Stella's got 10,000 health already at level 10. Come on. We ride, friendos. Let's go to that camp. Set up some kind of little base location. Um, I feel like we'll just do, like, a little a couple of foundations initially, maybe. Well, we could just kind of try and put some... I think those are tier three, those, like, um, tree... What's some madudos? Tree foundations. Hello, Walker. Hello, welcome. So, yes, I feel like we need, like, tier three stuff before you can put them. I feel like. I don't know. It's been such a while. Do, 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 do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We ride to ruin in Red Dawn or just a pleasant canter down the beach. Either is good. Yes, absolutely. Just a light trot or whatever. Perfect, perfect. Yes. And then I really want to focus on sorcery. So in some ways it's better because we're going to have like much easier friendos to knock out um, and sacrifice for sorcery. Um, so we can get our teleportary stone as soon as possible on this map. Um, I am sad because the Olive Dawn is beautiful and um, I just love that we were so, uh, so, so close to so many like bosses but we're not going to be too far from it so you know it wasn't a bad it's not a bad shout to move here um, and then we have the benefit of like the Redwoods without being in the darkness because I find that a bit oppressive and we could do like a little cute little treehouse bar or something like that or I don't know maybe we'll go crazy and like really experiment with it at some point I really hope, because um, if, you, if you're if you just joining us or you weren't here earlier when I mentioned it, if you haven't seen the post, Funcom have announced that on the 24th of this month, they're going to do a dev stream talking about chapter two um, and revealing like dates and stuff, I believe. So that's very exciting. I'm hoping that the loot box changes, uh, the loot changes, uh, you know, like chest, um, loot chests um, change happens in chapter two. I don't know yet. Um... And that means that any kind of like boxes out and about around the map will have kind of no like tat in them anymore. No, no like, you know, sticks and plant fibre and whatnot. It'll get like decent fun stuff to discover. I'm really hoping that's the case. Sounds like fun. So yeah, they did say they're going to do that. I don't know when it's going to happen. Hopefully that's in chapter two. It's one thing I'm looking forward to the most. How about you guys? Are you looking forward to anything particular? I assume... If you're on console, just the game working properly is probably your main goal, which I would understand and relate to. Is this a custom map? No, this is the Isle of Sipta. 
This is the Isle of Sipta. It's a DLC map. Um, it's a bit broken down here at the moment. The game is crashing um, down here at the moment. This has been out for a good while. But there seems to be a new issue that's been... I don't know how long it's been happening for. Not, I didn't hear a lot of people talking about it, except for console peeps. So I did think it was just a console issue, which obviously is still a big problem and still needs to be resolved. But I didn't realise it affected PC until we started this playthrough. So, yes. So I made the mistake of building in the exact location where there was an issue. Have I gone too far? No, this is where we're going to go. Do, do, do. It's a beautiful map. Um, oh, butt spot, behave yourself. There is our NPC camp. Now we just need to decide where to build. We don't want to build anywhere, like, too difficult. Maybe this little plateau, like, here. Mayhaps. Where are you, Neff? Are you, like, up on the cliff at the top? How far did you build? I want to be, like, read, like pretty close to these people. And we'll put down, like, a sacrificial, like, whatever it is outside it here. So that, um... We can just knock them out, like, on cooldown, really. But maybe this little plateau. Cliff, low one to your right. Like, over there. Yeah. I think maybe, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't have to be like our forever home or anything. But like initial setup, we could get set up here, couldn't we? We can see the Isle of Dawn. Watch my game crash because I'm looking at it. Uh, yes. Well, we were all the way down there, weren't we, before? So this is the, this is the problematic area. Even if we looked at it, the game crashed. It was a nightmare. Oh, kind of want to look around, though. I don't know if, can I climb up there? That would be a bit of a pain at this stage of the game before we've even like made a like a a lift and whatnot. Um, but it would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Maybe we'll climb up and see if we can see it. Um, but this would be much more reasonable to start off with because all we've got is this bird. Um, we can see the redwoods. It's not the most amazing spot. But it's very close to a very easy NPC camp. I already have the momentum mace that I got from a legendary chest. From killing some world bosses. Can I see if I can get up there? I'm just curious, chat. Let's do it. Come on, horsey. Horsey's like, I don't like heights. Please. Please, ma'am. Yeah, that's where that's where your house is. Oh, I see. Like, over there on the plateau. Nice. Lag between when she asks and when I can respond and then when she reads my response. There is, there is a bit, obviously, a bit of a delay between typing and me seeing it. Definitely. There's a bunch of iron here as well. I'm going to mark it for myself. Right. I could climb here. I don't know how much grit I've got. Bum, bum, bum. Do 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 do. Da -dum, bum bum. Should be able to re stam here, maybe. Da -dum. The biggest tip if you're climbing is to save a little bit so you can grab on. No, we can't re stam there. Just so that you can. And then you can. It doesn't matter what happens. If you run out of stam, it's fine. As long as you just keep a little bit. Let's do here instead. I just want to climb up there and see what's up there. It's kind of cool. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, there's always a bit of a delay. So if you write, if you like, whenever I take instructions from people, there's silver there. If I take instructions and things, um, you know, about directions and whatnot. Gold. So there's gold right here. That is very cool. Very cool. If you whatever it is that you click on on the ground, the little pieces tell you what the big rock is going to be. That's going to be very handy. Um, this is a cute little like shelf, isn't it? Do do. Hmm. Could we stand here? Gold and silver on the memories of the area. Yeah. 
Well, the main draw for me is um, we're right by the redwoods and we kind of wanted to make a little, little treehouse. Can I get Stam here? Nope. What about further up? Doo -doo. Um, yeah, the little NPC camp for sorcery. Can you re-Stam here, lady? Nope. Okay. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Let's try here. Do do do. Do 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 do. Just want to see what's up here. There's gold in them there hills. Fool's gold. It's also coal. Yep. No spoolers though, Nefinor. Let me discover it for myself because I'll it will just take away any of like the excitement. I know you'll be excited to talk about it. Do 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 do. Ooh, a little cave. Ooh, very cozy. That's kind of nice. I like it. Horse, you can stay in there. Horse is like, I don't like the dark. There's bats in here. That's how he speaks. Never went up before, didn't you? That's a cute little cave. Definitely put down a bedroll before you climb anything like this. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Lots of little plateaus. And I think there would be best to climb. And like little restamp points. Oh, here would be good, actually. Do -do. So there's probably some creatures up here or something. We're fighting. We could do a lift. We could make an elevator. 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 Can you carry ladders? Carry ladders? What, like in Minecraft? And I kick him as well as Killer just you're a naughty mod. Bad mod, Kalendros. You're not supposed to want to ban people. You're supposed to be like, oh my god. Like at least pretend that it's like, oh, I, I feel so bad about it. No, we can't make it. Like, you gotta at least like make it seem that you, you know, you're like, oh god, it's just it's such a burden banning people and like, you know, timing them out. I hate it. Oh. I just don't want people to think I'm mean. <laughs> Stella. Stella's a good climber, yeah. Yes, I used to always, like, check if uh, Steel or Stella was a girl or a boy, and then call him Steel or Stella. Um, but you have to have nudity on, and honestly, it's so horrific seeing the horse's bits when it's a boy. I'd just rather never never look. Hello, Joe. How, how you doing? Imagine somebody joined just then. <laughs> yes. Birthday boy, is it your birthday today, Joe? Ah, happy birthday. What are you up to today? Oh, there's a wolfie. Hello, friend. Thought there'd be some creatures. It's a good source of trees, I guess. And stone. Oof. That's a resistant fella. A lot of wolves. Guy is like dipped out because of the rocks. Okay. Let's use our uh, men momentum. Just because they. I don't have any points in agility. And they. I just. Just for convenience. There we go. Let's have a little look around. Check out the area. Okay, there's some Azura's glory up here. Some triage. Doo -doo -doo. Lots of trees. Yeah, if I can get a lift up here, then um, you know we could just come and just harvest trees all day if we want to. I don't know if I want to live up here. Maybe it would be kind of epic. Hello, sir. Can I interest you in fighting me slightly further away from the edge of the... Look at him. Just having a little think. Oh, there's always two, isn't there? Look at the freaking damage on this momentum. Jeez, Louise. Jeez. Um, midnight uh, blue flower, which is great if you want to make like a dark blue dye. It's what we used to use before everybody had access to black dye because it used to be locked behind a purge, um, purge alchemist, didn't it? And then it was 
the witch doctor who had it and then now everybody can just make black dye it's just like every tom dick and harry oh yes so yeah midnight blue used to be a really good way to get like almost black armor there's a king elk up here oh there's a white wolf poopies i think he's seen us as well he's seen my horse hi sir it's gonna hit like a truck Fortunately, I hit like a truck as well. But he should also give us some good loot. For that momentum for the win. Are you going to give me any goodies? I don't feel... Does he give us goodies? No, just wolf pelt and fur. Okay. King Elk is fighting more wolves. Just doing a reconnoiter. Wow, what a... What a gorgeous, like, shot. Definitely not taking screenshots. Forest King. So it used to be, a, like, a journey step for getting the head of a boss creature, wasn't there? And I feel like, was this guy being concluded? There we go. Let's get his head. I always like to... I used to... Well, I used to put these things on the wall in, like, a... In like a wooden cabin type thing. Da da dum. Do do. Do. Do do do. Some coal up here and iron. Okay, iron, good. I'm gonna try and mark that when I find it. There is a bear here. Sir. Hello, friend. So that's a source of thick hide, which is handy. Skin him. The bear pelt you can strip into thick hide. Cool. Or he's like, I will carry it. Pass it over, lady. Wait. So it's night time, but not for very long. I just have to make sure I don't fall off the edge of a cliff. You know what I mean? Da da dum bum. Do 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 do. There's the moon. Hello, flying moon. Um, because the map is so nice, XR lands up to open the button. This one's very pretty. This one is, it looks gorgeous, really beautiful. Um, is there a range limit on how far lifts can go? There is, I think there is, yes. I don't know how long, I don't think it's this far though. I think it'll go this far. It should do. Discovered any of the new bloodstone beasts on the island? Yes, we discovered a golem uh, in the centre of the map <clears throat> by the tower. Da -da 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 -da. More wolves. Yeah, I'm definitely going to build down um, on the beach or like nearish there so I can just farm the creatures. There's another white wolf over there. But this is going to be a really good source of resources. There's everything up here. Loads of metal. Loads of wood. Plenty of rock. It's going to be handy. Very gr grateful for my legendary here. Yep. And we're going to farm the heck out of the... Um, those NPCs so we can we can level our sorcery and make teleportry stones because there's no obelisks on this map. But I wish they would add them. Um, here we go. Loads of hide. Can we get for our friendos? Oops, I didn't mean to get on you, sir. She's like, I beg your pardon. <laughs> Could you not call me sir? I don't like it. Do, do, do. This is why I always like to build somewhere new every time because it, you know you just you have a very different kind of experience. There's more iron here, you know, discovering where the resources are and that kind of thing. Do, do, do. Plenty of rock, more iron, loads of iron actually. Oh, 
don't want to go too far. Okay, well, I think we've established that this is a hill, chat. There's some resources. Perfect. So let's get back down again. <clears throat> and we'll, we'll do a lift up here so we can just harvest the heck out of all these resources. And we'll just set up down the bottom, probably, by the beach. All right. Good night, Joe. Hope you had a good birthday. Yeah, good night, matey. We might be waiting for the next uh, update for um, for, for Valheim, if you're still here. Because I know we need to uh, yag and stuff. We don't have to do that. We don't have to wait for, um, for the server thing, but... Um, maybe for like the series to continue, I might wait for the big update. Just because there's a big update on its way. You know. Yeah. We'll keep you posted. Gives me gives me time to get more food. Yeah, that's it. And we'll, we'll definitely have like plenty of notice before we suddenly go. We won't be like, yag tonight. You know. Our update should be soon. Yeah, they pushed push out the last patch of the PTR. Yeah. So that's exciting. Do, 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 do. Okay. Game crashes. Ruffle. Bum, bum. Do, do, do. It's usually a bit easier getting down. I have my release on shift because it's just very easy to just tap shift as I fall intentionally. All right, let's set up here. This seems like a perfect place to be initially and maybe like, I don't know, maybe for like a long time. It's good because there's um there's like two two access points. It's like over here. Um, This is all protected if I have a purge here. And then they can come over here as well. So we could like, you know, it just means that you need fewer fighters to defend you if you can control like the access if it's just if if it's just like a a giant base in the middle of a big flat piece of ground then enemies can come from all directions it takes a lot more kind of people to defend that um so we have a bedroll we need like we need to set up a bit of a camp so i guess we'll get some stone and some rocks and do that we start by putting down a little box or something. I need wood and twine. I don't have any wood with me. Let's go get some. Bum, bad. How many spaces do you have, friend? Plenty. Okay. So we'll get a bit of rock as well. We've got a pickaxe, which will help with that. Cliff overhang is ideal for purge. Having had a base on top of the islands of Buckingham Bay, we had multiple elevators. We had multiple elevators at the top, much like a scratch river. Nice, cool. Yeah, as long as you, um, if you, if you like, the the hindrance, the problem you have is it has to, uh, you have to build some ceiling pieces out to make sure that it, um clears whatever is beneath it if you want it to go all the way down to the bottom so building some foundations until you can't and then adding ceiling pieces and you can use the structure um you can use this perkin expertise structural integrity this one here so structures uh, have 25 percent more stability and then you can you know build out and then make sure that they don't um what do we put points into great um yeah that's like the main thing really but it should extend. It should go that far. So I guess we'll see. Build half, half. Build hallway up the cliff. No one can get to you. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, I'm not too worried about purges anyway, really. Um, I don't want to be like. Um, we could build like a tiny little base, like halfway up the cliff. I don't. I don't want like a little base. We'll just build something here, and then I'll see what kind of. What kind of inspiration I get for something? I'm gonna drop the elk. Uh, I kind of want the blood actually. Let's keep that. At least we've got some mats down here. Halfway, yeah. You have that building perk for more stable structures to build a basin. No, it doesn't. It keeps it. It's fine. Devilish, yeah. 
It doesn't cause your baits to collapse. No, no. No, it's permanent. Thank goodness, yes. Do you just need it temporarily? Yep. Never had any problems with that. But that is one of the reasons why I don't use any building mods um, when I build. I'm terrified of using mods for building. Um, and, and one of the reasons why I'm very, even though people ask me regularly for reduced building restrictions mod, um, I refuse to put it on our server because if, if the mod doesn't work, I don't want your buildings collapsing, right? Um, so yes, but no, the, you've used that 25% stability perk. It does no negatives. I love it here, chat. It's gorgeous lighting. It's really pretty. We build like a big base between these trees. So cool. Nice of them to think about. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that would have been a nightmare, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's really cool. Do -do. I don't know. If, I don't think mortals here right now. I did. Um, so I did try to install reshade on my Conan game. I've been uh, trying it out on another game recently. Um, and Mortal, who gave us me, gave, gave me the instructions, it's in our Paleo channel, if you want to see how to install that. Um, I did try to install it for Conan to, like, test it out. Um, although this map is already, like, just looks better than Exiled Lands, which Exiled Lands can look a bit washed out, I think, these days. Um, it didn't work when I started the game. I didn't have the option to, like, press home and whatnot, if you've tried it. So I'll have to ask him what to do to get it to work on here. Tried it on Conan, it looks great, does it? Hmm. How does it how did you get it to work, Neff? I did install it, yeah. I installed it for like um so I had already installed it for the other game, and then I tried to install it for I installed it again for Conan, and it didn't like come up with the home thing when I it didn't come up with like I tried pressing home, it didn't show me anything when I launched it. So I don't know, I've done something wrong, I think. Yep. Da -da -dum -da -dum. Do -do 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 -do. The trees are so like look at the colours and everything. So much nicer on this map. Um but yeah, I should be able to press home and it should come up. And I did have home bound for something on this game, and I unbound it and I restarted the game and it just didn't work. So I don't know what I've what I'm missing. Okay, let's go at least place some boxes down. Da -da -da. There's like four Conan EXE and you have to choose the right one. Hmm, okay. I see. Hmm. Do -do. Post info. Yeah, if you would in the Conan channel, I'd really appreciate that. Thank you, Neff. There we go. Right, let's place a box down so we can make some space for ourselves. Nice. Right. Um, I guess I'll put down a foundation first anyway. And we'll do flotsam, probably. Now, how do I want to line this shiznit up? 
Um, probably can have a door on this side. Let's put our box on here. Need some twine. There we go. Put our heavy mats in here. Do, do, do. Da, da. Just going to use the horse to carry stuff for us. So if I was going to build like a big base here now, I would make sure I respect so that I harvested resources twice as fast, that careful harvesting, just to get the most amount of resources. And I would probably put as much as many points into expertise as I had at the time. And if I was late on in the game, I would aim for Beast of Burden right here for harvesting. Just It's just so much more efficient. Yep, yep, yep. Ba -dum, ba -dum. Do, do, do. I kind of want to go get all our stuff, chat, but I don't know if I want to do that on stream. In all honesty. Bam, bam. How would we do that? How do we get our stuff? And are we going to crash? That's the question. So, shall I do it in, shall I do that in creative? Shall I do that in creative? Because we're relocating because of a bug. Da -da -dum -bum. Can't just leave anything behind. I could do with a second box, really. I need more wood, so I can rest caps. There we go. Got a lot of crap in my inventory. And I, we're going to run out of space pretty quickly. Let's free up some items. Uh, I will keep my bow on me, probably. Okay, so I'm going to respec, because we already did this. As many points and expertise as possible. We're just going to, like, admin this situation. Yes, because the map kept crashing. Beast of burden. Nothing else matters because we're just going to be grabbing our stuff now that we've found somewhere. And we were located. Hopefully, we don't crash from doing just this. We, we had already relocated once, by the way. This is the second relocation. So, if I don't look. Oops. This is, we relocated to here because it was crashing. I'm not going to show you where we were before if you weren't here. Because we will crash again. Just got to get out of here. And go back. There we go. So we've got our things and we can move on with our lives. There we go. I've got to zoom out of the map all the way. Turn off the mini map. Because when you admin teleport, it gives you this little problem. Got to zoom all the way out. There we go. It's fixed. Cool. All right. Let's just set up the way we were before, chat. Ah. <sighs> So, since we have moved, we haven't had any crashes. Fingers crossed, now that we've left the problematic area. We won't have any more issues. Um, do I want to do it in... I was in creative, so it wouldn't give me... Wouldn't, oh, wouldn't it give me any of the mats back? It would give me the things in the... In, okay. Okay. So, let's try again, chat. Right. Okay. Blacksmith bench. Armourer's bench. Tinkerer's Bench. Tannery. Usually I would put that next to the Armour's Bench. It doesn't really matter. This isn't like forever. Um, 
What else do you want? Hello, it's me. Hello, Busy, though. How, how are you doing? Um, ba -bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Um, blacksmith bench we've done. I think we've done all the things on here. Carpentry, we had a little carpenter's bench. Okay, replaced. We had a um, an artisan table. It was in a median. It's true. Factual, factually correct. Alchemy, we had a fireball cauldron. And we had an alchemist bench. Which we tracked in the journey. Everything is done from here. We did have a fluid press as well. Let's put you there, my friend. Cooking, we didn't have any of those things. We didn't have those. We didn't have those. We had none of those. We didn't make a thaumaturgy bench yet. Um, we didn't... We can redo these. And that is it, right? Are we back where we were, friendos? <laughs> Are we back where we were? Right, let's exit creative. There we go. Now... We have relocated officially. Well, we rode around trying to find somewhere, and I'm kind of pleased with this place. It's kind of cool. Um, oh, the thrall pot. Companions. Let's place a thrall pot so we can put our animals and our food in there. It's like a quick, quick and dirty kind of um, bridge. This stage of the game increases the, the life uh, of any like pets or food, basically. So here this has like 56, minute, uh, 56 minutes and in here it has 9 hours. If you do have humans placed, like followers, they will take food from here and they will take raw meat as well. So you'll end up with like loads of putrid meat and all sorts of crap in their inventories, which they shouldn't have. I don't think that should happen. It never used to be a problem uh, happen. They would only take food that they could eat. So I don't know. Hopefully that gets changed or sorted or whatever. Um, so let's put away all the bits and the bobs. Oh yeah, I just remembered I'm, respe I'm spec for incumbent, so. Right, where's the tannery over here? So we got a load of goods to, like, process. Let's get those processing. Fur will keep. Um, I need a tanner's bench. Um, smithing. Tanner's table. I'm assuming that I tracked the placement of that on the journey. Tanner, yes, Tanner's table. And we did get the improved Tanner's table as a reward for that. So let's use the, the improved one. Um, need more space. So I can move you. It's amazingly, now we have this feature move things with stuff in it brilliant i love it and i kind of slept on that feature for a long time okay we can place the tanner's table thing over there there we go you can go in the corner as well brilliant and then the improved tannery Crafting stations, there we go. It's kind of bigger, but it is better. All right, we are doing well, people. Um, somebody, I can't remember, I don't know if you're here, but somebody did mention about the ability to lock things. Um, if you have like if you have um a, a thing that things ignore ownership then you can lock individual boxes um but on a on pv like regular servers i don't think you can't like you can't lock things because things are already locked basically to your clan and if they're in your clan they're allowed to i guess all right um armorous stuff let's put you in here ba -dum, bum bum do 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 there we go um what else we've got a bunch of clothing this is going to take up space i'm going to put you in the tinkerer's bench because we've got room in there bits of armor it's been a funny old stream today two relocations hopefully we're here for good now 
Um, and we shouldn't have any enemies up here, so maybe we could, like... Maybe we could process the cat so we actually have a kitty. I don't know, people. Where do I put these? I'll put the golem parts that we found here, too. Let's put the cat in there. The cat won't expire. Um, we have to process it. Um, we have to put it in the uh, pet thingy. What do you call it? Uh, for it to turn into a pet. We can't displace it yet. But it doesn't, it doesn't expire, which is kind of handy. Sand Reaper toxins. One of the biggest reasons to upgrade the benches because the inventory space is so much better for dumping stuff. There we go. Da -da -da. Yeah, if I'd moved legitimately each time after all the crashes, oh my god, I would have lost my marbles. Fuck you, rules, that's it. Got the info on which app you want to choose on the Kona channels. Okay. Yep. Does ice work in thrall pots? No, it doesn't. Mm -mm. To build a smeg fridge, yeah. You have to have a smeg fridge with an ice uh, thingy, definitely. Animal pen, thank you, Kit. We're all in it together, yes. Have you crashed? No, no crashes since leaving that area. Mm -mm. So it seems to have been the right choice so far. Um, sticks and things. Where do I have my carpenter's bench? Let's put stuff in you. Uh, I mean, you know, I like to look on the bright side, generally speaking. And, um, you know, we're right by a very easy, like, much bigger NPC camp. Um, which is going to be really handy for sorcery. So that's good. Um, where do I want to put the bones? Um, bones, bones, bones. I'm going to put the metal in the blacksmith bench. Bones, bones, bones. Twine. It doesn't really matter with the unlock plus mod where you put stuff because it'll just kind of, you just, yeah, it'll just come to you. <laughs> it's kind of good. Um, I'll drop seeds unless it's something I really care about. As in grey lotus. Very important. Da -dum, bum, bum. Don't need magenta dye. Brown dye. go definitely want glass flasks for potions and things armor repair kits i eh, mm, don't really care about you friends i try not to use repair kits at all now um, we don't have a grinder we could probably do with a grinder and um, we could do with placing a thaumaturgy table and um, we can put some things in there then we can put our coal in here and we could get some iron smelting because we've got iron nearby do you have anything on you my friend Nope. You can follow me again. You're not allowed to place items in this container. Excuse me. Excuse me. What are you talking about? Oh, this. It's because it's a trash. That's why. <laughs> it's like, I have to. This is my game. How dare you? Cheeky. Cheeky game. Well, let's put the shaped wood. Yes, this is, this is chaos, chat get used to it <laughs> Anna you're putting you're putting like all sorts of things in that um bench yep you're putting eggs in your carpenter's bench yes chat that is happening <laughs> um right we need to place the I should put the eggs in the thrall part we could place a second thrall part to be fair I guess because it does get pretty full let's get rid of feral flesh I don't care about that um let's drop you my dude Just eat that. Where are my eeks? There we go. Vines can go on a little friendo here. Campfire we can place down. We should probably make a big campfire now, actually. Maybe we'll just keep this on us. Um, let's make a big campfire. Get ourselves nice and comfy. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Crafting, cooking. Probably haven't learnt it. Survival. There we go. Kukin. And then... There we go. Let's pull our stuff in from our places. And now we have a bit more space in the middle, which is kind of good. We can put this down. Um, am I going to care too much about where it is? Maybe. Three either side. We could put it here. Three there. Three there, so here. 
It doesn't have to be perfectly central, Anna. Maybe it does. It does, chat. It does. Um, so now we could store some stuff in there. Um, I also like to dump stuff in the campfire as well. Anyone else? Um, we could probably do with some more boxes. We could probably do with the better boxes, actually. So let's try and make ourselves some iron reinforcements. We've got a few. Is there a freaking journey for that? Oh, gosh. Trying to think of all the things, like... And then try and work out if there's a bloody journey for it. It's like, oh, God. Do you know what I mean? Why have we... We've lost our alchemist thingy. It's already in... It's in process. Hmm. I feel like we did some of that. Is it bugged? Access or... Oh, fireball cauldron. We already did that. This is what we were doing just before we crashed again. And then <laughs> I feel like we've just gone back in time. Axis will place an alchemist bench. Harvest aloe leaves. Like, literally, we, did do we were doing that. And then the game crashed. Um, let's go get a bit more iron, as I planned to do. But let's repair our daggers first. There we go. We're kind of back where we were, peeps. Um, let's repair you. Where's the other set? Squirrel. Hello, maybe in a box. Yes, I always need two on me. There we go, repair those. And we can continue making some iron reinforcements. Bum, ba, dum. Do, 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 do. Ba, dum, ba, dum. Okay, great. Let's go get some iron. Da, dum, ba, dum. Perfect, perfect. And we're specced for carrying stuff, so we're fine. I do have loads of points. Um, let's put a bit in grit and a bit in agility until we respec. Um, and a bit in vitality. There we go. Fine. Do, 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 do. Who, are we, who are we to judge if you want that rotten egg scent on your belongings? That's it. Listen, I just like the fragrance, all right? It's my individual unique scent. Stop judging me, people. Um, posted a pic of my gothic mansion. Nice. I look forward to seeing it. Easier dungeon. Squeaky. Easier dungeon. But do we have a pet dragon? Do we have an easy dungeon, but do we have a pet dragon under our base? Exactly. It's a shame. It's a journey down the beach from my starter base. I may just move and copy base. What you do is sorcery. That's cool. Um, yeah, it's going to be really handy. Definitely. Let's get some iron. Harvesting with beast of burden is really the only, like, pleasant way to do it as far as I'm concerned. Am I right, chat? Do you, do you, are you bothered by moving around like a freaking snail's pace? Because if you're not, I just don't... Like, explain to me how you're not bothered by it. I hate it so much. I have to have Beast of Burden to do any kind of, like, serious, like, harvesting and stuff. You know? It's just... Yeah. It dry, I hate being slowed down. No lies. No lies detected. I'm very much looking forward to building something in these trees. Now that they're, like, right next to us. We might have the best of both worlds. You know, lots of sunshine. We've got the beach. We've got the people nearby. And maybe we'll put something at the top of there. I don't know. I always like to do that. Like, what can I put up there? You could put a teleportry stone in a lift or something. Do, 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 do. Do, do. We do have the Acer walls. Well, Maelstrom started. We do have the Acer walls that um, they released a while ago. You could use them for something. The only thing about those is... Um, I prefer to build on a plateau where they can't... Um, where enemies can't hit the sides. So if I built at the top of there and I put Acer walls around the edge of it, for example, bad example, but I would see it as a pointless um, to build on a plateau. And definitely if they're going to be using trebuchets and things like that um, on the next chapter, then, um, you know... 
I'm I'm gonna just want to use like height at my advantage, really. Yep. You bought tree homes. Yeah, everyone is saying that. Hello, Starbird. How are you doing? Starbird, my headset's falling off my head again. I have a problem. Um are there are the multi tools? Swiss army knife. Are you talking about Conan Exiles? Are you talking about the uh, pickaxe being handy? Happy Friday. Happy... F is it Friday today? It is Friday. Bloody hell. Where did that come from? <laughs> I was surprised. I was jump scared by the day of the week. Is this also just a way up that I could have used before? I'm going to get attacked probably by a white wolf. Dun, ba, da, da, dun. But I do have my momentum and it'll still do a bunch of damage. Even if uh, I've just respect with points and agility. Paleo message. Yeah, to, to, yes, yes. Last night, I said to my friends, oh, I think I'm probably, you know, done with Paleo for like a bit. I've, I've like, you know, done too much. And then it like immediately logged back in and like checked on my crops. You know what I mean? I was like, yeah, I think I'm like done with it. I've just been grinding too much. Immediately logged back in. I've got problems, peeps. Is that coal? It looks like it. Oh, hey there. Can I test out my momentum on you? Without any points in strength. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sir. Can I just... Hold on a minute. No points in strength? Question mark. Yeah, no points in strength. <laughs> Still walloped him. He walloped me as well, but I don't, I don't have any points really. And I have like a very little in vitality. I didn't, this isn't like a proper build, this is just me like trying to get myself set up after some false starts. Addiction rise we've all school. Wow, it's too good. It's too fun for its own good. It is very fun, isn't it? It's nice to be addicted to stuff when it doesn't have any negative repercussions, you know. Start stuff sort of Star Wars as well. You want trees. Yeah, we'll have to do that, won't we, peeps? Yep. Gotta, gotta use the advantages of the terrain and whatnot. The maelstrom doesn't hurt you itself, but if you are in the centre of the map and you're caught in the maelstrom, then the enemies that spawn in will hurt you quite a lot. That's just bear that in mind. But there's no like sandstorm function on this map or anything. It just looks kind of stormy. Need to go back into code and keep my, my treasuring. Yeah. Need more gold kitties. Ah. Yes. Facts. It's a very wolfy area. Let's get a bit more iron. Broke my pickaxe jet. Sagittarius. Do do. I do have two times harvesting on. Just FYI. Like I always do when I do playthrough. Ba da dum ba dum. Do, 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 do. So much materials around here. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -da -dum. Mm -hmm. I will, if we do build a tree house, I'm going to do it on the stream. Because it's not like building um, like a castle or like a big fancy house where I have to really think about like you know, where do I want this room and that? It's going to be like, let's trial and error, like place foundations, try and see how wide we can make them. Um, let's turn on like the reduced stability and they're going to be, it's going to be like round sort of shapes and we'll link it together. I probably will do it in creative mode so I can fly around because it sounds like it's going to be a lot more fun and I don't like things to be like in annoying and hindering and stuff like that. Um... You know, it's just going to be a bit more fun that way. Otherwise, what you would do is you would place foundations going up to get some stability and then you place something above yourself. Right. We could do that to show how to do it, but I, I don't want to build that way. I want to fly around like a freaking witch <laughs> or no, an angel that you're an angel, um, you know, and enjoy it. Right. There you go. Oh, we've leveled up from harvesting. Perfect. There we go. It's probably enough rocks for now. Do, 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 do. Let's wallop this bird because it makes us happy. Hello, bird. I'm here to wallop you. Boom. Do, 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 do. 
Do -do. The momentum was a great find. Like, first legendary, apart from obviously the soul spiel, which is kind of a bag of poops on this map. I nearly said something else, but I, know, I never swear, obviously. You were right the first. <laughs> Shut up, never know. Cheeky monkey. Flashbacks to WoW with thousands of hours. Um, the only problem is, is how it resolves over 6 a.m. in the morning for me, even though it's a time in real life I never see. Hmm. Only have like 12. We have 12 what, Starbird? Fly oh, kitties! Um, I feel like a tweet from South Park when I get addicted to a game. Hmm. Played for about six years. Only really stopped after gaming PC melted and moved to console. Oh my goodness. Da -da -dum -ba -dum. Let's get a bit of bark. The old tannery. Do -do. You can turn off the maelstrom if it annoys you in your settings. Um, which I have done in the past. Um, you can you can just switch it off. Does it automatically go? I don't know if it has to like end. Or you can adjust the times and things or how frequently it happens. I think when we're in the centre of the map, I like it. I don't necessarily like that it... You know, like when you're on the Isle of Dawn, it just makes the weather bad. Um, and as someone who like lives in the UK, um, I get kind of triggered by grey skies a little bit sometimes. So yeah, I don't think it'll like... I don't think it'll do it. Like, I don't think it'll end. Um... Yes. Time restrictions all day. Yeah, I could make it so it's only a certain time. But I think when we go into the centre of the map, I do like it. Um, because it's a challenge. It's like a, it's a unique feature of this map. Um, I only play games for hundreds, hundreds of hours, really. Six years, you need to up those numbers. Those are, those are rookie numbers. Ah... Uh, I would turn off the maelstrom, but I feel like I would get bored. Maybe we just how often it happens. Hmm. Let's make the map feel more alive. Yeah, definitely. I think, yeah, when I go to the centre of the map, I want it to, like, trigger. But I kind of don't want it to trigger unless I'm in the centre of the map. You know what I mean? But it is interesting, because if, you were, if you're playing on a server or something, you could, if you want to go to the centre of the map, you could wait till the maelstrom ends. You, and when you see it end, you could be like, okay, let's go into the centre of the map if you wanted to avoid it. Um, or you can just keep riding to kind of escape the creatures. Um, you know, there are ch there are ways to, like, deal with it. Right, we got loads of stones. Oh, yeah, yeah, loads of iron. Let's cook that up. I'm going to just keep the stone in here. I guess we'll cook a... Uh, I don't want to cook any of it yet, really. Um... You can go in there, my friend. Do we not have loads of hide somewhere? We've got nothing. What next? We could make our thaumaturgy table and start doing a bit of, like, sacrificing thaumaturgy. Okay. So, to do any kind of sorcery or to just transmog your items, you need to learn sorcery. And on, um, it's at Shellback Hollow on the Exiled Lands. You find, at, um, you learn how to do sorcery on the Exiled Lands by killing sorcerers and you get a dead sorcerer's map from their inventories. Otherwise, just go to Shellback Hollow. Um, and then on Sipta, it's at Riverwatch Keep. It's the same situation, but there are no Shellbacks in there. So you just run in there, touch the book at the back. It'll give you a Tome of Karak. Tome of Karak? Definitely a Tome. Um, and it'll give you a an arcane staff, which I should have somewhere. I mean, given that we've moved house about forty times, if I've lost my to my arcane staff, I wouldn't be. T there it is. It gives you this thing here, and this is your like channeling thingy, whatever rod, <laughs> summoning situation. You basically click, right click, and then you um. Click on stuff, and then you can do some things, right? So there's spells, and gradually you learn spells, and you increase the number of options that you have with this thing. You will gain corruption when you cast spells, 
Um, you can lose the corruption from drinking cleansing brew, using a dancer to, like, to dance near you, getting entertained. Um, uh, but you will need some corruption to do a lot, like some of the spells, so the corruption will benefit you. And you can corrupt some of your attributes um, here. Um, when you have some corruption, it'll give you the option to corrupt some attributes, but you'll need soul drain orbs for which you'll need to sacrifice people. We'll get to that point um, anyway. So once you've learned sorcery, you can place a thaumaturgy bench then. Um, and if you want to transmog anything, you can put two items in here. You don't need any other things. You just need a full, like a full health item um, for both things. I think both things, right? Um, you need the source stats and then the appearance. So if I wanted to transmog this outfit here, um, I would put this in the source stats. And then whatever I wanted the appearance to be, I would put it there. Click combine. And then this item that came out would have the stats of the original item and the appearance of the second item. There you go. That's how you that's how you transmog. So then what you want to do is you want to put your tome of correct, it is a tome of correct, in here. And then basically the game will guide you through what you need to do to learn all the spells. It won't tell you what spells you're going to learn until you start doing it. You just place the items um, in here. And then you'll click craft basically and then you'll cast a spell and you'll learn whatever comes up and you do this over and over again with all the different items the the, the like the ingredients you need will be different and that gives you some kind of gameplay right some kind of things you need to do um so we do need sorcerer spell pages and we get those from sorcerers around the map and there happen to be some sorcerers um in this little camp nearby there's a sorcerer spell page we got our first one there we go so we can we can cast our first spell, teach ourselves some thaumaturgy. It'll give us a little bit of corruption. So we've gained uh, blood right, soul drain, and bed wisp and imbue wisp. Right. So one of the two of those will give us an option of like creating um, a light around us, the wisp ones. Uh, is it this one? I never know which one's which. Not that one. It doesn't have a back button, which drives me crazy. I know law, blah, blah, blah. I know it's not immersive to have a back button, but I need a back button, chat. Is this, this should be the imbue thing. Yes, imbue. So you've got two choices with the lighting one. One, you can have um, a light around your person, and one, you can, like, place a light somewhere, right? Um, and this is, this is now going to be on a toggle the light around yourself so if you need some extra light you can have it but it, it drives me kind of crazy um because you have this like swirling light around you look she's like going crazy now you just have this green swirly light around you and it just i hate it it kind of annoys me um and then we've also got just do another right click like it we can reveal corrupted objects and those are with those there you go so that should show us where any of the blood crystal creatures are if there are any if you're looking for blood crystals this is also on i don't remember the noises being like so loud put that away so yeah does this keep does this continue chat forevermore this is the one for the blood crystals right is there a mod for sorcery to go back? Have a look. Oh, I wonder. Oh my god, I need that. Uh, it'll destroy the item. You'll... Does transmogrify destroy items? Uh, it uses the item up. Yeah. <clears throat> um, let me give myself one of these. Source stats. So you might want to be... Some of my previous videos on YouTube, if you've seen them, I will be running and running around in a bikini. Well, I'm actually wearing very heavy armor and that's just, you're just imagining it. It's an illusion. So, so source stats in here, whatever you want, any appearance, combine. Both items are now gone into this one basically yeah so it just uses it up so i have to bear that in mind you won't get it back again and then when i equip this it will appear as if i'm wearing a bikini you know what i'm saying so yeah the best like the good item first yes otherwise you'll you could lose some cool stuff let's drop that 
Um, so then you can just keep doing this um, until you run out of spell pages. I need to go find some sorcerers. So let's respec um, for fighting. Um, let's make potion of best of memory. Did I respec everything? No, there you go. Potion of best of memory. I do have a couple of ye yellow, um, a couple of glass flasks. I'm certain of it. That's the maelstrom ending. I can't really see it from here. It's like going away, so the weather will improve in a minute. Didn't I have a couple of glass and glass flasks? I swear I put them down somewhere. Like two of them. Who can tell in this mess, Anna? Shut up, chat. Right, there we go. Glass flasks. Go fill them on the beach. As soon as I get a uh, an alchemist, I don't have to run to the water to fill them. They'll just fill it for me in the alchemical bench. Oh, I do have one already, actually. Let's fill these anyway. Oh, suddenly it's bright sunshine. That's why. That's one thing I don't like about the Maelstrom. It's just it makes the weather dingy for ages, you know. Super protective, protective ride. Yes. You've true fantasy, have it on my bikini and some dental floss. Exactly. Perfect. It's the perfect look. Let's fill our glass flasks. Bum, bum, bum. Ba -dum, bum, bum. Do 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 do. Da da dum bum bum. Da da dum. But the reason we're here really is because of sorcery. Um, if it weren't for needing to level sorcery or whatever, I wouldn't bother to build here. We'd just pick somewhere else. But we need to be near NPCs because you have to sacrifice a lot of people. Willing participants, obviously. You know what I mean? Volunteers, as everybody is in this game. All right. All right, potion of special memory. So I'll make one of those to respec legitimately. As I do everything. <laughs> Okay, drink that. That'll reset our attributes. And now I guess we'll spec for... I'm going to spec for agility because those people are so weak. We don't need... Um, we don't need to use our heavy, like, hammer. Except, what are we going to do after that? And how often do I want to respec? This is the question. Maybe until I get a good agility weapon. Oh, God. I'm going to go strength, peeps. Right, one in grit one in expertise um this uh, one in grit will give me a bit more armor and increase my stamina um this one will just kind of help me to carry some bits and bobs one in vitality none in agility and we'll spend some points combo master 20 combo finishes deal 20 percent more damage um how much health do i have like this 294 yep just do all damage um, hmm, maybe one in authority, because that'll help me knock people out. And that's a good point, actually. I'm going to need to knock people out as well. Let's put some points in strength. Okay. So, before we go get ourselves another... Before we start knocking people out and whatever, um, we could run into a thrall in there. So I'm just thinking if you go into an NPC camp, it's good to get your thrall taker thing started. So let's do that. Can I place a wheel of friendship? Companions. Do I have the mats? What am I missing? Twine, probably. Do I, have, I, I must have loads of plant fibre somewhere. Just make this kind of humming noise, which is kind of annoying. Where did I put my plant fiber? Oh, there it is. Perfect. Let's make a bunch of twine. I have crafting on like uber fast because I have the patience of a tiny gnat. Um. Okay, so we need a bit of. It's not going to pull my iron in, is it? Yes. Facts. What am I missing? Isn't it 50 of that now? Oh no. I've got, I've got what I need. It's just not flat or something. Alrighty. Let's place this down. 
this is a this is a pop-up gym um which we'll we'll talk about when we meet friends that we want to like recruit and um we'll talk about the fact that the gym is 24 hours and um you know we have a great benefits package uh, including dental um you know some uh, accidental knocking out of teeth it may occur in the recruitment process but it event ultimately you're gonna have the best smile ever right okay so now we want to craft a truncheon so we can do that in our hop in our like what is it called inventory okay craft bindings you can do that in your inventory too um you probably want more than one bindings because they run out very quickly especially if you're going anywhere far and then use a the truncheon to knock out a fighter armor really just you know to persuade them it's just, just the, the truncheon is a persuasion technique really they just stare at it and then they follow you that's how it works um bindings on your hotbar and then we're going to knock them out and we're going to bring them back here um we're also going to try and kill any sorcerers so that we can get spell pages to make the next thingy if you get like 10 failed spell pages and you have a tier three is it any is it any level of uh, sorcerer actually chat remind me um if you have a sorcerer in here then they can craft they'll get like a recipe to craft a spell page out of failed so uh, spell pages so cool we'll take the horse because the horse likes to just watch a bit of violence really i mean uh, recruitment he's a trainee <clears throat> um build a well Build a well so you don't have to run the whole five meters to the beach. Definitely. That's top of my priorities, jeez. Definitely. Um, one thing I wish they would change is being able to transmog over a transmog. Yes. So if you have fashionists, you don't have to worry about transmogging with thaumaturgy. And the nice thing about that is you don't have to worry about whether an item is broken. Whatever I drag into here... use the same thing for like you know display whatever purposes whatever i drag into here she'll just be wearing it i can either hide my clothing altogether or i can have this here and just be showing what i what i'm actually wearing or i can you know show that basically i don't know why i would think of using that because i never wear the bikini ever you know what i mean <clears throat> one of my favorite leveling armor sets in fan fantasy 4 seems underwear and a strap <laughs> It's fun watching when Jenna's race running around in in a time. Ah, oh. yes. Um, Cr Kriggin? How do we say that? Crine? Crin? Crine? Kring? Welcome in. We'd love to see you meet. Would love to see you meet Kronk on a live server. What is that? What is that about? Hello, Data. Um, I was unaware that gnats were subject to such tests on their patients for to draw such statements. Hello, fighting out. How are you doing? Any level I haven't checked lately. Tier fours can make spell pages. It's any level, isn't it? Tiny scientists run tests on the nets. Yeah, exactly. Lower level ones can too. Yeah, I think it's lower levels. I think it's all of them, isn't it? You can also put spell pages in the dismantle and make blackbirds. Yeah. Horse. I don't know what you're talking about, data. Meet Kronk on a live server. Are you suggesting I only ever play in single player? What do you What do you think? Explain yourself, chatter. All right, let's go murder fight some people. If I see any crafters, we'll um, you know, we'll like befriend them if they're like tier threes or higher. Hello, friendo. She's our daggers because we're um. It would be fun for us. What is what is that? Is that are you suggesting it's a PvP clan or something? Are you uh, so have you come into my chat and you're like, oh, she's just like a soft like PvE. -er. Yeah. Because you think you're better than me, is that right? No. Cause that's I get that kind of comment on my YouTube channel, it's really irritating. Oh my god, I'm so good at this game and I play PvP. You're like brand new to this game, woman. I bet you can't fight or anything. Is that what you're saying? No, you're not. Speak for yourself then. Answer for yourself. Sometimes she logs into server to yell at to yell at houses. Yeah, I just yell at houses definitely. It's definitely like a 
It's like a fun activity for me. Oh, we got a tier three sorcerer. We'll knock them out. Bought a new harvest house. Wanted more entrances. Turned out it won't build a new defense. Yeah, it won't build. Oh, it's annoying that it doesn't say that, honestly. Alright, let's knock out this person. Hello, decoy. Thank you. Was it the silly boy voice I just did an impression of? Because I know that's very attractive. Die. Okay. Right, we got our first friendo. Let us uh, rec we've, so what you weren't aware of then is that I was actually having a telepathic chat with him about friendship and about the 24-hour pop-up. Yep. Imagine if the horse would actually help with some of the back kicks. Yes. I feel like we always talk about that. Imagine you could have a if the horse could like back kick something. It'd be kind of funny. Flawless victory. Yes. We haven't made any stairs, which is suboptimal, but fortunately our wheel is here. All right, so we just need to give them a snack, so that because they like to eat steak or some any anything you want. And now we can put him in here. There we go. There we go. So now he's got the recipes for research um, to make fresh spell pages, or this one here to use ten failed sorcerer spell pages. Um, but, um, bum, bum. I'm gonna keep that pickaxe. I guess I'll repair it. Bum, bum, ba -da -da. All right. Oh no, I was just memeing decoy. Thank you very much. And I'm making next a radio host. That is honestly the highest praise. When I when I was very obsessed with getting my audio quality like good, when I uh, first started my channel. I was because I started off with a terrible like well this headset that I'm wearing here but with the microphone from it I sounded like a helicopter pilot I do actually have the recording from my very first ooh, flotsam my, my recording from my very very first stream on this channel um with a mic um yeah and honestly I don't know how different I I, I don't know how different I was like um it's like coming up to two years it'll be two years in like I don't know I think October, October, November. Right, if we supply materials. Now, what we want to get from these is a grave digger, a shovel, because there's a grave here which we can loot, and there's graves around the map at different NPC camps. And so if we can get a shovel, which is something you can usually craft um, on the Exiled Lands. Oh, there is a, there is a little thingy here. Do we get snake dance? Ugh, my least favourite dance. What are you? A tier two. We'll kill him. And we'll steal his spell page, sir. I can't equip my weapon. I love it when like PvPers just assume that just because just because I play PV PvE that I'm like completely inexperienced. I've got no idea how to play the game. And they're all like so. Oh, this pissing competition really irritates me. So I'll, I'll just like it's just an it's just an insta ban for me. Just like get the fuck out of here, seriously. I hate it. Oh my god, my penis is tiny, and I have to go around telling girls I could totally beat them up. Do you know what I mean? Am I ranting? Maybe. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I've got nothing else in my life going for me. Let me just go into some random stream and tell a girl I could totally beat her up in PvP. You know, my dad, he could, like, totally beat up your dad. Could he? Well, you see, now, I'm a grown-up and I don't care about that. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Freaking, it just drives me crazy. It's worse on YouTube because people, like, 
because the moderation is obviously like i mean there are like there's auto mod on youtube which is incredibly handy oh it's just, just things certain things just wind me up anyway anyway <laughs> Do graves respawn after you... Yes, they do, yeah. You can, like, loot them multiple times, yes. I think it's a destructive way of getting attention to hate's gonna hit. Yeah, some people just, yeah. Just idiots, really. Okay, what did we get from that? Did we get ourselves a spell page while I was destructified? We got a failed one. So they've all died now in an accident that wasn't their fault. Um, because this is single player, if I just run out of render range, they should have, like, respawn. Um, yes. Da -dum, bum, bum. Doo -doo -doo. Right, let's open these boxes. Can I get a freaking... Okay, what? Weapon handles? Oh my god, that is such a good freaking... That is really good. Generally, you have to be, what, level 60 to make weapon handles? Um, which means... Okay. The Valeria thingy. What is it called? What is it from, friends? The Katana. What is it called? I don't think... Here, no, not that one. Hmm. That is a Scepter specific thingy. Uh, journey. Where is it? This one. Um, so on Exiled Lands, it's just a cartographer. So this is like, this is a katana. It's like decent, but it's not as good as the as the basic uh, star metal katana. And so I was like, what's the point in this? Because you can't make this until you get weapon handles. Um, can I make it now? Wait, if I learn this, I've got to go all the way around though. That's the only thing. Hmm. Uh, yeah, so I was like, what's the point? Because you can't make weapon handles until you're, like, level 60. And I was like, surely, I'm sure there's ways to get weapon handles from, like, loot boxes. And none of us could remember ever getting one recently. But I swear at some point in the past I've gotten a weapon handle from, like, a boss or, like, a box somewhere. But getting them from Flotsam means that maybe we can make it. Yes. I don't know, peeps. So I'll put them in here, but that's a good drop. That's cool. Okay. Um, I don't think I got myself a shovel. Iron reinforcement. 255 iron uh, hardened bricks is very good. Tar, silver. Okay. Nice. Nice. So the nice thing about living here is those flotsam are going to respawn as well. Um, that's very cool. Um, render range, Dave. Render range. Um... You have any idea how much being good at PvP has improved my life? Not a bit, but still. So many of you called them out and went one v one PvP to them in you one. I know, I know. I just don't want to get. I, yeah, I've already given them way too much attention. I don't think Conan would still be around if it was PvP only. Absolutely, yeah, definitely. I play PvP in in Overwatch like on a regular basis, but I, I just I don't want to like. How do people taking my stuff? I want to like. I like play this game like Pokemon, you know. Um, Curtis Compot is so simple, I don't know how you could think you need skill for it. Mm. I told them when you turned it. Well, <laughs> yes. Um, I'd love to see that, Kevin. How I make bread on here. Yeah. Yeah. I've never made bread on this game. Seeds, Flint Fire Loving Agent. This is from Unlock Plus, I think. This tells me why. Good PvE server is nice to play on. Yeah. Hello, Stackvik. How are you doing? Yeah. I mean, you know, if people want to play PvP, like, by all means, go do it. Whatever. But, you know, make your own life choices. All right. Let's keep some stone. We'll turn some of this into bricks. Um, but, you know, I don't think people watch me for, pe like, PvP tips. So, you know, anyway, let's move on. Spent too much time talking about it as it is. I'm um, going to store these rocks in here because they won't cook in here. We've got some cactus wine, which doesn't give us any benefits. Um, got some twine. I don't, could do with some lighting, couldn't I? Could do a bit of lighting. Ba -da -dum, ba -dum. I can actually place these. It's a bit bright, though. It's a bit pink for my liking. 
Um, let's learn decoration. Torchbearer. And now we can put these little basic thingies just in the corners. Make it a bit cosy. I always use these until I um, until I get to like fully like really decorating. Let's make some torches. Um, do, do, do. I don't think we're going to get attacked from anything because there was only like a bird that spawned here, wasn't there? On this little exact location. Uh, we're out of mats now. Can I craft... Can I craft some more of these? Do, do, do. There we go. Nice. We've got a bit of brightness. Perfect. Very cosy. Maybe the people will have respawned. Uh, brimstone in here. Let's put the wood somewhere else. Do, do, do. Scraps. I guess there was. I think those are equivalent to Warmaker, right? The stuff you get from the Warmaker. Um, I could do with a box for, like, to stuff. And maybe we start making some boxes, actually. Um, I want the basic chest situation. Um, decoration. This guy here. There we go. All right, let's put one here next to the furnace. And then maybe one here for like thaumaturgy stuff or like sorcery stuff. Just a random one here. Should actually replace these. Don't have any more stuff, okay. These just have way more storage space. Dum, dum, da, da, dum. Perfect. It's going to make our life a bit better. And then anything spelly we'll put in here. We got some corrupted stone. Any sceptery bits as well. Bum, ba, dum. Failed spell page can go in here. I need 10 to make a normal spell page. Or I can learn the snake dance now as well. I'm going to keep these torches in my inventory because they don't weigh a huge amount and just means I don't have to worry about it again. Um, I've got a bunch of duplicate tools, which I might drop actually. I could make a dismantling bench, but there's so much iron around here, I don't care about mats. Oh, um, water orbs I should probably put in my alchemist bench. Uh, elk king head, I'm just going to squish for the blood. If I get any human, um, so that's another thing as well, if I want to get a um, human like, body parts, whatever, I can squish those and get quite a lot of blood out of them. Um, so it's going to be handy being near the people for that too. Uh, bones and whatnot. I could do with a grinder. Got to check if there's a freaking journey step for everything as I go along. Uh, what else? Where do I get the grinder situation from? Grinder, 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 grinder. What is it from? Is it from Alchemist? Nope. Da -da -dum, da -dum. Do, 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 do. Are we level 26 already? 33, yeah, we could make the upgrade. We could do weight reduction kits on our armor and stuff now if we wanted to. Uh, is there a thing for a grinder, peeps? Is it chef? Yes. Unlock bonfire. Put stone in a grinder. I mean, I don't care too much about that, really. Shall we? 
and lock the bonfire. There we go. And then... What next? Cook meat in the bonfire. Okay, let's place one. I guess we'll trade this for a bonfire. It takes up less space anyway. There we go. Cook meat in a bonfire. We need a bit of wood as well. It doesn't let you... Unlock Plus doesn't let you pull fuel in, unfortunately. Uh, let me. I think we got a bunch of dyes from the chests. I'm going to drop these on the ground. I don't want to carry them. I will keep purple lotus because I'm going to use that for thrall taker. The purple lotus orbs. Um, there's so much leavening stuff around. I don't care about that. Um, what do I want? Wood. Let's put the stone in here. And then wood, wood, wood. Put some in the carpenter's bench. Okay. Okay. Put stone into a grinder. Okay. General. Let's put this next to the alchemy dude. Over here will do. Um, stone will give me salt, so I could tell it to bring salt from something. There we go. There we go. Unlock the fissure knowledge. Okay, access will place a fish trap. Should we just do the thing? Well, we, we may as well, right? Do you have to go to the shore for it? Um, and it's probably going to ask me for... Like bugs, right? Bait. Yes. I mean, we could place it down. There's no harm. We do have bugs available. If I can find them. So let's do... Fish traps. Farming. And then I want to... Pull some mats in. What do I need for it? Um, shaped wood and twine. Okay. I've just like, I clicked it a few times. I don't know if it gave me enough stuff. Let's go place this fish trap. Where's the fancy chef live? Um, stone to brick conversion rate feels like working a week and getting your paycheck saying, is that it? Yeah, definitely. Oh, improve fish traps. Um, is it from the? Is it from one of these um, dungeons? One of the like the watery dungeons, peeps. I haven't bothered with them on on Sipter. I don't remember. It's not a random vault uh, recipe, is it? I assume it's from these like uh, underwater dungeons from like down this coastal area. Um. Meanie then. Yeah, obviously, yeah, conversion. Use those pink lights on your base will become a boudoir. Yes. We need to place a bed, actually, don't we? Speaking of boudoirs. Da -da 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 right, let's give ourselves some fish traps. How close can we make them? Do them along the shore. Wait, well, I guess we'll do one to start with. Does it tell me to put bait in it? Catch fish using bait. Okay. There we go. Unlock dried preserves knowledge. Ba -da -da. Do -do. Where's what do you mean by the fancy chef? Do you mean the um the guy that drops the cleaver, the chef's cleaver? I don't know if is he on this map. Da -da -da. Let's place a bed before we forget. So I gotta make it in I Gotta make it in the artisan bench, haven't I? 
do do do. Bam bam. Bam. Ba -da -dum. There it is. And we'll make the new one that uh, they've just released. Oh, I don't have any freaking silk still. Well, we'll make the little Argosian buddy. Till we get some silk. We've got to kill some spiders first. Uh, let's put it here, out the way. Boom. Okay, so the spawn points look like updated. Excellent. All right, I'm getting sidetracked, I suspect, people. So we were working on that. So I think those people will probably have respawned by now. I guess we could just kind of busy ourselves like we have done. Um, I could place this. Uh, I might just put it in a box for now. I don't want it to despawn until I make a coffer. Let's put stuff in here. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. All right. Let's go and see if we can get some more dead sorcerers. For the fancy fish meals. Are you talking about the improved fish traps? Are you talking about the rare fish? What do you, is that what you mean? You get the chef cleaver from a grave in the camp at C6 next to which I like. There you go. Not had it as an NPC drop. Mm hmm. To craft the stove. Right, they've respawned. Which is good. Bum bum ba da da dum bum 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 do 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 These guys are so easy. It's good. And hopefully we'll just farm the flotsam on cooldown. There's the grave we can dig up when we get the grave digger. Or the shovel, whatever. And also we could get at least um at least a carpenter, like a named carpenter from here. Hello, sir. He didn't have any spell pages. I shall not. Let's take all their booze and their dyes. Do, 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 do. And they're queens. I don't know how frequently does the fro flots of respawn, peeps. Ooh, tier three. Maybe you'll have a spell page for me. Yep. Perfect. Oh, lady. Keep it down, won't you? How do I get the flotsam to respawn? Ba -da -dum -bum. Do -do 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 -do. Twitch, uh, Twitch have announced that if people get banned, um, soon streamers will be able to stop you from watching their live stream so you have to be careful not to get banned from somewhere like oh well i just won't chat <laughs> you'll have to just stick to watching vods if you get banned from somewhere fun fact all righty um i saw that on twitter today it's kind of good for people who get like sometimes you get really creepy like stalkery types uh, I can only cook the basic fish. Looks like you had a bunch of fancy fish meals when you worked in the bonfire. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, right. So these fish, I see what you're saying. These are rare fish. Um, you need to learn the, the uh, improved fish traps uh, on Sipta. I, I I can't remember off the top of my head. I haven't played Sipta as much as Exiled Lands, but I can't remember where you get the recipe for improved fish traps on Sipta. But a Google will tell you. Um... Fumbles the ban hammer accidentally puns <laughs> never know calendras. Um but yeah, but these give you buffs, which is great. Um yep. They give you like buffs. They're like a buffing food or whatever. Yeah. 
Uh, the only reason I can I can see every recipe because I have Unlock Plus. So because of that, it allows me to click on something and then I can drag in the inf uh, drag in the rest uh, the, the ingredients for it basically. Yeah, Kalindros is so naughty. I mean, Kalindros, goodness me. Yeah, on Exiled Lands, it's from the Dagon Dungeon. So I'm assuming you can get it from. Can you get it from? I mean, I need an answer. I'm gonna have to like Google it. Um, what is it? Deep Sea Fisher feet. Feet. Scepter. Uh, let, let me Google that for you. Um, Deep Sea Fisher. Scepter. What's it be? Master Fisherman Scroll. Um, it's a scroll. There's a recipe in a chest from a vault. Okay, so yes. And the recipe from a vault. A boss chest in a vault. Yep. Um, yep, so the feat is called Deep Sea Fisher. On Exiled Land, you get it from Dagon Dungeon just by clicking on a, uh, a what's it called? A tablet. Um, what do you call them? A law stone or whatever. Um, a recipe stone. And on Scepter, it's a drop. It's in one of the, the vault boxes. That's it. But if you're playing on Exile Sons, you just do uh, Dagon Dungeon. Kill one of the bosses and there's a thingy. Um, there you go. Well, I've already done it for you, Decoy. Uh, is it a law Is it a law stone if it just teaches you a recipe? Is it a law stone? I guess so. One day they will destroy the universe. Haven't got authority and Neff can rise from the dead. That's it. True. He's done it before. Touch. I've got to touch wood now. Let's hope nothing happens to you, please. I'm leader of the Neff and Dead Army. That's it. I rise from the dead every Monday morning. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. I have personal experience of this, actually. Um, right, so we did get a scroll. Um, two pages. Yes, so we got seven. Oh, what can we do in the meantime, people? We would build our house, I guess, in the meantime. Um, should we have a play with, like, building in the trees? While we're, like, you know, waiting for stuff. Should we, like, have an experiment? I could do this off stream if you wanted me to. If you're like, she's cheating. Yes, I will build in creative mode on every playthrough. I've built so many times. I've harvested so many rocks. I just want to enjoy myself at this point. Um, if the game crashes, I'm going to have to, like... You know, you know, I will be, I will be very sad, chat. Um, special. So these are the treehouse foundations. Um, which tree should we build in? I want like some that are near enough to each other that we can have like bridges. Maybe here in the shade, she says after saying she wants to build in the light. Maybe here. So we'll clip it just barely at the edge. How high do we want to go? This is the question. Quite high. Then we do we need like a lift to it? Or do we want like a spiral staircase? I haven't done this for years. Since they very first brought these out, I haven't like used them. Um So they're like what are they? Is that a hexagon? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides. Hmm. They won't clip to each other. Let's do some experimenting. That's better, isn't it? You want them to not like clip all the way in. Is that the best I can manage? That is better. And then you can build out from these with like ceiling pieces. Can you go full Harry Potter with sorcery? You can't fly around. You can uh, summon a bat demon. Right, let's respec for 25% um, structural integrity. Okay, everything else doesn't matter. Let's, I guess we'll redo these. Hopefully, um, all of them are fine. I don't know. Okay. 
So now all of these should have better stability than before. And then we could build out with, like... What do we use, peeps? We want something wooden. We could go... Um, so these are the choices. We could go insulated wood. Um... Yeah, the foundations are tier three. It doesn't matter in the, apart from like chapter two purges where they have trebuchets, maybe um, we could go with, nah, that's too different. Accidentally breaks foundation beneath her. Um, we could go for the Kitan, too gray. I quite like using Frontier, which is like a wooden look as well. That's kind of a good colour. Um, we could just go flotsam if we wanted. We wanted to do like proper Sipta stuff. That is from the um, from the Sipta DLC. Uh, it's I think it's from the Debaucheries of Deketa DLC. Hello, Cheeky. How you doing? Do it. Yeah. RNG drop on Sipta. Yeah. And the RNG drops, my goodness, they can take a while. Hmm. Heist climb. This is just a very special horse. Very special horse. Tree horse. Um, what do you like, peeps? What do you vote for? I do like, like, the insulated wood. Um, oh, there's also the stables DLC, which has just, like, tier three wooden ceilings. Um, they're quite nice, actually, aren't they? Horse is like, don't you delete this foundation beneath me. I shall leave you. <laughs> Could do those. Flotsam looks better. Insulated wood looks like recovered pallets. Mm. The colour of the flotsam looks better, doesn't it? Okay, let's try and make a circle. Hmm. How do we how do we fit them? That's the only thing. So yeah, I mean, this is the only thing. You can just put regular foundations in a tree. You can just clip. You've always been able to. Oops. Well, see, are you being an interferer? Well, she's like, no. That one won't have any stability if we place it then. So yeah, but these, I don't know, they're kind of less boxy, right? Those kind of stick out badly. This is the bottom of these ones. It just looks a bit more realistic. Much more like the arc ones, aren't they? Tree climbing horse is killing me. Everyone on stables. Decent, nothing decent with that, with the actual tree DLC content. Um, one, I assume you're British writing now. Um, and possibly from Yorkshire. Don't dox yourself. Um, is there nothing decent with the actual tree DLC content? The debauchery to de kettle DLC is is one of my favourites. It has a bunch of armour. That bikini my character is always using. Um, it has like the nice bed. It has a bunch of like RP kind of placeable stuff. It has like stages. It has um, you can make a bar from it and things. It's really nice. Like really good. Um. Yeah, you got some stage thingies, uh, the bed, this bed here. Uh, you've got like, there's a bunch of armor. Yeah, it's good. Did you respec back to a building spec? Yes. Anna and regular foundation sitting in tree. <laughs> it's a bit, what you like. Yeah, it's really, it is really good. I do think the flotsam looks like color wise looks better. Um, I want to see if I can, how, how we can make this work. Um, 
Yes. Because, I don't know. Like, how do... I don't know, people. Maybe we just use... Um... Okay, Horsey, you might need to go home, friend. Why don't you go down here? He's like, how... She's like, I would really appreciate that. I like it better on the ground. Um, maybe we just use circles? Has anyone done this before? It's been many moons, friendos. How does it work? Yes. Okay. Just circle. Just triangles. Okay. Just triangles. We'll build out as far as we can to see what we've got to work with. Also, there's bridges um, in this DLC as well. We never had this 25% stability increase when this uh, the DLC first came out. We can change the like the skin of these um, triangles anytime we want. If we decide we don't like the flotsam, or if I decide I don't like it. So I'm not too worried about it, I just want to like lean into it. We're not even on red yet. Getting into red now. That is a lot further than it used to be, peeps. We've got that 25% extra structural integrity. Can I, before I, before I forget, I just give myself a bit of peace of mind. <laughs> I don't like, you know. Because we're in creative anyway. She's cheating. Oh my God, yes. <gasps> an outrage. You should write to someone about that. Maybe your grandma. She'll want to know. We are still going. Right, we're at the edge. We'll place all the ones we can, and then when we realise we've gone as far as we can, then we'll we'll start adding. We'll build up from another tree. This is about as far as we can go. That's it. That is, is crazy. It's so much better. It used to be like to about here. <laughs> it's good. Imagine dropping your keys on that floor. Yes, that'd be a nightmare. Can make a fair impersonation of Scottish Twitter, but it's incomprehensible to most people. Well, that's just perfectly accurate then, isn't it? So I guess we could shave off these like little pokey bits. So that's what we've that's what we've got left. That is pretty cool, right? I like it. That's a bit like a, a hive or something, a beehive. So we could just go with this, but there are a bunch of trees near us. So let's see if we can extend. Um, we could we could hmm, let me see how to do this. Ah. Uh -huh. So now we've gained loads, loads more stability. But I want to like add. Hmm. Is it too far to connect? Yeah, I guess it is. That's the only problem.
Uh, Flotsam looks nice. Uh, imagine dropping your keys. No pokey pokey. Uh, Valentin, Valentine, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Do 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 do. Hmm. So the only thing is, this one's a bit further away. I kind of liked it just the way it was with one of them. So then we would want to put a lift, wouldn't we? Or something. That's the only thing. And there are no squares here. I don't know how I feel about the flotsam. You could definitely make this as a bar or something, couldn't you? I say that because it comes with like bar pieces, like stages and everything. Definitely want to see about extending a bridge from here. It's pretty far out. Hello, Valentin. Um, do you like puns? I am known for not liking puns, but it is a bit of a joke in our community because um, there are some proper punsters here. And uh, we have a corner for people who tell bad jokes, which is affectionately a place of exile. <laughs> I love to stop it, never know. Uh, during the stream, maybe smaller areas linked with the, with the bridges between the trees. Yeah. Um, well, we would definitely have to remove a bit, wouldn't we? To be, able to be able to place like squares or something. Jerry could have its own use. <clears throat> Feel cheated from Anna dying from fall damage. The corner has cookies. The corner does not have cookies. Um. Yeah. It's good to know how far it goes, though. So then we can do the bridges, which I remember being a bit of a pain in the butt because they needed, like, they needed, uh, what are they called? Pillars underneath them to work in the past. These are the choices. Is that like a middle bit? That's kind of nice. Should we make it noon so you can see what's happening? There we go. A bit better. It's hard to see, isn't it? That's the bridge. Two, three, four, five on that side. Three on that side. I don't know if it will click to this. Yes, it will. And that's it. Do, do, do. Oh, it's going to be, could be like a huge network, couldn't it? Um, numbers aren't real unless you count Dracula. Nefanor, are you related to this person? Because I'm sensing some similarities. <laughs> Welcome in, Valentin. Uh, what it's supposed to have and what it has are two different things. But not sim as per usual. Time to go do some cheating. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy. Have fun. Um, so proud. Oh, God. 
It's like friggin' badgery, isn't it? All over again from um, thingy. Right. Um, yes. Well, we can't add on onto these foundations. I don't. I don't know if I'm going to keep the, the flotsam. I don't know, peeps. How many of you have uh, made a treehouse using these foundations before? I remember the DLC coming out and I remember being like, being like oh, brilliant, I can totally do this. And then never do never doing it. <laughs> like, I like tried it very briefly. Starting to get hungry. Might have to end in a minute. It's built out a bit. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Do 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 Yeah, with the extra twenty five percent like structure, it's pretty good, isn't it? Didn't get the DLC, only got Sipter. Ah, that's plenty of time. Are these trees too wide? I, I, yeah, I think that is the problem, Violin. I mean, they're not too wide. Um, it's just that that is definitely affecting it because they're quite wide trees. That looks kind of evenish. Let's reduce this like width here, maybe. Just for aesthetics more than anything else. Is that evenish? The tricky thing, obviously, is these aren't like aren't even themselves. Oh. There's a gap. Why is there a gap? <clears throat> Because there's a gap on those. Is it because of the type of piece that I've used? Um... Nope. Why is there a gap? That's weird. Too OCD. Found the issue with the treehouse is the non centered situation. Yeah, yeah. Duplex build. Have you ever played The Witcher 3? Philippa. A heart sounds a bit like you. I played The Witcher 3 very, very, very briefly. Which one does she play? Which character is that? I played it very, very briefly on like PlayStation. Yeah, it's the the, the symmetry you kind of like. You, I want to cultivate some symmetry here. Just take a note from Valheim and cover up the gap with a rug. But why is there a gap? This is what I want to know. Because we use the thingies. We use these to like to decide how far it should be, didn't we? Oh, that'll never do, people. I guess the chaos of it is probably one of one of the reasons why I never really did it properly.
They're not lined up. Ah, I don't like it. Try again. Oh, I get dizzy in the trees. Now there's no gap. But it's a bit <laughs> it's not a very big place to go to, is it? Do do Hmm. Prominent member of the Lodge of Sorceresses. She only comes into play later again. I see. Twenty pixels in this economy. Seems not gonna end anytime soon as long as it's a twenty pixel gap, that's it, yeah. That's it. Interesting. Well, chat, uh, I've got to go, like, eat something because all this, like, heights and stuff is making me kind of dizzy. Um, yes, we will work on the tree cluster. I mean, we have a little cluster of trees here. There's a bit of sunlight. I think it's kind of cosy. Oh, we've got to get the horsey. Um, horse is like, thank you for saving me. Horse is American, apparently. Yes, we'll work on the tree situation. It's perfect. Yes, it's perfect. We'll leave it like that now. That's it. It's like the perfect home. Yes. Um, yeah, we'll work on like the tree situation. We'll have like like as like a luxury getaway. We'll have like a bar and dances and all that sort of thing. Um, and then we'll, you know, maybe we'll build something kind of like, like a house up here on this plateau. I don't know what we're going to use or I don't have any particular plans for it, but it's, you know, it's going to go well with this little NPC camp. We'll level up our sorcery and that kind of thing. So, yeah, thank you everybody so much for hanging out on the stream today. Thank you for all the, like, support and whatnot. Um, join us on the Discord if you haven't already. If you want to join the... Thank you very much. If you want to join the uh, Conan Exiles uh, server, just join the Discord. Look at the pin messages in the Conan channel. You'll find joining instructions. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Check out the YouTube channel if you haven't already. If you've never seen it, there's guides and Let's Play stuff over there.